All right, welcome back. We are here to play Hearts of Ulin, the Numberless Secrets expansion, Gaze into Silken Night, Season 2, Episode 2. So we had a lot of, of uh, introduction, reintroduction of old characters, introduction of new characters, and then just a dip into the new mystery as well as... <clears throat> A whole bunch of entanglements from last time so i'm just going to ask um our characters present today um uh gullible moo's character unfortunately was able, unable to join us but we'll be back for next session um but uh, we'll continue on without him um but i'll just ask our players present today to just kind of give a brief uh one or two sentences of what they remember from last time um you know and to kind of like reintroduce their character if they so choose and then uh, we will get back into the mystery all right so um let's see do we want to go into character keeper order we totally can uh jintong you want to start us off or do you want to go last <laughs> i want to go last okay all right uh jade starlight like i'll start from that end <laughs> Yeah, I was about to suggest that. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm I'm playing Jade Starlight, who uses they them pronouns, and they are a historian who um, prefers not to be recognized as such because in their um, their thought process is that that way it's easier to uh record stuff more accurately um and my love interest actually died <laughs> so i i just probably met uh or saw young mo fang a few days ago uh but i already fell for them so that's going to be interesting and and soup always um got in the way when I was trying to express my feelings. So maybe I'm extra salty about that. And I was never able to confess. And uh, apart from that, um, my that was one of my entanglements. The other one is that a gullible Mu suspects Songbird June of evil. Uh, but I remain loyal to them. And uh, apart from um, having each character introduced, I remember in particular that encounter with Jin Tong, where uh, my character ex accidentally <laughs> um, asked them to um, kill off Radish, Soup Sister. That's going to be so messy. Okay. Continuing onward. Uh... Pan Horan, <laughs> what do you remember from last time? <laughs> right. Pan Horan um, had a uncomfortable conversation with Soup in the wagon. That's that conversation to give Gullible Mu the third degree. Uh, very suspicious. They're very suspicious. And then um, stare longingly at Radish, which is the only reason Gullible <laughs> was able to escape the third degree that <laughs> they were receiving. Oh, actually, I had a question that I don't remember whether it was answered last time or not. Did you get engaged to Soup before meeting Radish? Or did you get engaged to Soup because of radish. Oh no, I think it's a political marriage. Oh. Um it this the cho who I was being married off to was soup. I don't okay. think I knew who who soup was really, like not really. I I think I knew whatever reputation soup had, but not who really who soup was as a person. Got it. Before. Okay. So it was a family so, thing. I think it was a family thing. Maybe. So so, mm -hmm. so my family isn't like I'm avoiding them right now. So maybe what we can say is that I just did 
like I solved the case for your family or something. Mm -hmm. And because of that, it just like, like it was just proposed, uh, you know, an engagement was proposed and uh, things just happened and we find ourselves in this position kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you didn't cool. know that you, oh, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. <clears throat> oh, man. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. And soup, which leads us to soup. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what happened in the last, you know, uh, half an hour of the last session. So I'd love to be clued in. But yes, what I remember is that soup had that conversation with Pan Hauran and then had a small scene with Gullible Moo. Uh, and it, uh, uh, I think I, I remember saying I got souped by Gullible Moo, who just made some excuse and like ran away. And I, yeah, I was, I realized that I'm a bad influence on, on my friends. They're, they're learning the wrong lessons. <laughs> just, but yeah, that's, uh, that was me. But yeah, how did uh, Yan uh, Mu Fang die? Like what, what happened? Uh, uh, so I'm going to just like, yeah, summarize basically where um, there is no rule that a champion can't come back to compete in this particular yeah. tournament. Um, yeah. But he did. And then there was a, um, there was a, uh, a newcomer that came on, on the second day of the tournament that demanded entry and had some sort of secret token that that he showed um, the chief um, Ouyang um, to like pretty much grant him entry into the tournament. And he demanded that he was going to, that he wanted to fight um, uh, Yang Mufang. And uh, on condition that uh, chief Ouyang said he had to face two, like this, this newcomer Go uh, Botong had to face two opponents at once. Botong does. He faces the two opponents, and then he was going to face off against Yang. But then, when they tried to call um, Yang to the arena, to the to the fighting ring, they go into his tent, and he was found dead, stabbed in the back. Yeah. All right. And I'm I'm investigating something already. Right. Yes. I it, vaguely it was, remember. Yes. Yeah. It was basically something about. Um, uh, particular gambling the suspicious gambling success yeah i think <clears throat> yeah i can't remember i know it was involving the king of pearls but i can't remember if it was specifically about the king of pearls i know it had to do with gambling um, yeah it was gambling i don't think there was anything specific said about what the details were okay yeah yeah, yeah. but and definitely I obviously, i obviously think it's undaunted zidane doing doing it um <laughs> For no, for no reason. No reason. I'm, sh I'm sure it's them. Uh, and, uh, yeah. But yes, I have to investigate the King of Pearls also. Right? Of course. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay. <sighs> but uh, yeah, but also Jin Tong finds herself here. So. Yes. Um. Truly, I don't. <laughs> Aside from what was briefly mentioned, like, you know, it's, I feel like not a lot happened, question mark. Like, Jin Tong came back and was looking for Jade Starlight and then was like, uh, basically was like, I want to repay the life debt um, for you saving me. And then Jade Starlight was like, uh you don't need to say anything because I already know that you confessed to me, question mark. And then Jintong's like, I see you understand that I want you to tell me how to repay the life debt. So who, what should I do? And then J-Star was like, uh, I'm going to soft reject you by saying that I've, uh, my attention has been drawn by Radish. And then Jintong's like, oh, you want me to kill Radish? That's how you want me to repay the life debt. I can do that. Um, and then that was the conversation that they had where they both thought they knew exactly what was going on. I think that's the only thing that happened, question mark, for Jin Tong. The only thing that I remember. Do you realize that 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 a lot of this this communication happened in in a possible like, you know, 
tortured feverish delirium like under the care of <clears throat> the the alchemist that jade starlight's friends with and maybe you said some said some stuff under said feverish delirium well this particular conversation did not it happened in a graveyard actually um <laughs> that i know but i mean like the other stuff that maybe <laughs> you've 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 talked about and confessed i'm just curious whether you realize you know i don't think so i don't okay. think jintong knew what happened okay um, okay just making sure because damn i also <laughs> yeah i feel like jintong i don't think jintong did jintong say anything i don't remember what was established i'm not saying that it i didn't say that but i just don't remember i don't think we established where i took care of you yeah but, but if uh it matters if you're suggesting that happened um involving that alchemist then we can do that yeah that's fine with me too like who's this alchemist and what did jean tong reveal hold on uh da, da, da. okay yeah <clears throat> songbird jun is the was oh, the my. contestant eliminated in the tournament's first round last year Right, uh, right, right. Kept cages of butterflies. Um, said to be an herbalist and alchemist. Um, hates Cheng uh, Rugong, definitely. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, like you know, is fr hold on. Let me just double check my my little ties here. <clears throat> Friends with. Yeah. According to this, friends with Moo and Jade Starlight. I think Moo is covering for a couple of people, so it's kind. Of, it's like that's how that's how Moo's tied in with uh, a few people here at the tournament, and then it's like you know I think June has has worked with um, Jade Starlight, and then of course Jade Starlight has helped take care of you, uh, Jin Tong. So that's uh, part of the connection here. But I mean it. If things have to be kind of like retroactively like redone, I that I'm perfectly happy with that as well. But these are just some of the lines that I see here, so we can always go back and watch the tape. Uh, mm, yeah, the only thing I'd like to add is Moo is actually suspicious <coughs> of Songbird June. Yes. Not friendly. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, no. I, well, hold on. Because uh, I know Moo is co is covering for King of Pearls. There was somebody else that Moo was covering for as well um, in this instance. I'll just go back and look at my look at my notes. All right. Anyway, that's who we're dealing with right now. <laughs> and uh, there's a dead body. There is a stabbed dead body on hand. Um, <clears throat> but the tournament is still going on because death is still in a, is still a possibility here at the at the uh, well-named tournament of death um so they are carting off uh yang uh mofeng's body jade starlight i think well i mean word travels fast especially when it's very public as it is um guo botang looks very disappointed unfortunately um for him but uh everybody else is you know there's uh questions there's there's gasps of surprise in the audience um, people are just trying to get organized, and uh, Chief um, Ouyang is trying to get some some organization and some calm built back into the into the uh, into the tournament to get things back on track. But uh, just to go over what the mystery is again, <clears throat> your facets that you're you're trying to work on is the murder of Yang Mofeng, the events of last year's tournament and Guo Butong and the Fallen Greenleaf Society, the possible connection there, okay? Um, so you have to collect clues. Uh, this is a mystery with the complexity of six, so to uh, be able to solve this, like, you know, you should get at least half of the complexity, um, rolling on negative, but um, if you want to at least have a straight roll on this for your theorize, uh, then you want to make sure you have at least six clues um, with each clue be uh, attached to one facet. Like one fat, uh, one fat, uh, yeah, I cannot speak today, I swear. Each facet having at least one clue attached to it. 
okay? When you, when you uh, come up with uh, your theoretical answer. Sorry, I'm just trying to like make sure I see what we have here. So we're all here, right? Yes. At, um, what, what is the crime scene? Like, or sorry, where is the scene of discovery for uh, Mo Feng's body? The competitors' tents, because they were tents. they were they were going to bring him to to fight uh, Guo Butong. Okay. But it seems like, and uh, like you know, if if uh, if soup is found, then you know they're they're going to uh, let him know that it looks like he was not killed recently. It was before the day's events even began. Okay. Um, There's many places to to look for clues. I mean, you know, because this is a big big tournament for the most part. You got the fighting arena. You have the practice grounds. You have the host pavilion, kitchens for the feasts themselves. You have the private competitor dressing tents. The again, the temple, uh, nearby abandoned temple and graveyard. And then there's the betting parlor. Gee. So. Cool. Power Ran will be following suit to see how, how them to see them at work because this is the reason that their beach falls became beach rope <laughs> so they're very interested in seeing soup work uh is is Jinta doing there to something be big yeah yeah is Jinta doing something Agatha yeah Jinta will do something but I don't have to do it right away if or... no I mean you, you was I think you would it seemed like you were setting up to do something so why don't you do your thing and then uh John and I will do a scene or something. Okay. Jitong is going to um listen in on the conversations that are around um af right after uh Mo Feng has been discovered dead and like basically is looking at the people and like walking quietly through the crowd to see if she catches any interesting conversation. Sure. Sure. I just want to <clears throat> pardon. I just want to find out where everybody's going to be and what they're doing, and then we'll go to each scene accordingly. Uh, Jade Starlight, what do you plan on doing? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'll check out the tent of Young Mofan. Okay. Perfect. So if if uh, Jintong is around the crime scene and Jade is also checking out the tent, uh, maybe this is a maybe Soup and uh, Pan are also there, and then we maybe can do some group scenes uh, together, like after. Sure. Yeah, yeah. like that's yeah direction we can run. Yeah, I think <clears throat> I think. Uh... Soup, you're going to have a uh, front row seat or like, you know, priority, uh, priority entry uh, because you are like already investigating the gambling portion of this. But, you know, Chief uh, Mo Yang is already like, Soup, Soup, please come here, come here. And then like he'll wave you through and his guards will let you will let you in. Um, and just by virtue of association, Horan, you're going to be able to go in as well. Um, I had my servants make sure that he was not disturbed. This is how he was found. As they were going to bring him to fight Guobutang. What do you make of this? What does he what does he look like? What the what is the apparent cause of death? Uh yeah, he is He's face down. He's prone on the ground, face down. And it doesn't look like there is any other disturbance aside from his body on the ground um as if he just kind of like fell over um no real disturbances in his tent um and then like of course you see 
like the blood on his back and then like a discernible uh, wound. Okay. Okay. Um, so it looks like he was stabbed in the back and yeah. then kind of pushed face forward onto the floor. Yeah. That's what it looks okay. like. Yeah. Um, That's what it looks like. I look, I look at you for young. I'm like, this is going to be a complex case, I can tell, because this could be anybody. Everybody has a motive to get rid of the <clears throat> person who is most likely the strongest fighter here. And obviously, they would do it from the back. So... But I will get to the bottom of this, Chief. And yeah, I'd like to investigate the the the, the body and the, and the crime scene. Um, this this like I know, Michael. You said you were going to do the same thing. So, am I stepping on toes here, or do you have something else that you'd like to do? Because I mean, he can he can totally study uh, in a different way, you yeah. know. Yeah. So. Everybody I mean, can yeah. study, but they can do it. They can do different approaches for. And then I, yeah, exactly. I think I'll probably have more luck looking about uh, what what's in the area around. You know, so yeah, that's totally yeah. fine. Yeah. Cool, cool. So then, Thanks yeah, I'm, I'm... <laughs> no problem. I'm going to examine the body. I'm going to you know look at the wound. I am sort of like yeah. Uh, uh, looking at how it's placed and stuff like that, gonna snoop around and okay. yeah, can so I study? Can I study? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And and this whole time I'm explaining to to Pan how around like I'm explaining to Pan, I'm like oh see this you know I'm doing this and uh, you know educating you on detecting I guess is the yeah. is the thing I I don't think you asked any questions but I'm I'm, I'm busy explaining it. I'm just, oh my yeah. god! All right, all right. <laughs> oh oh oh. I I think I'm going to try to help with my unready. <laughs> Which it's like I don't spend the bond, I have to roll to help. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. So I'm gonna open the back door without turning the alarm off. No problem. I don't think there's you know, I mean you don't have to the to uh help on this one, I don't believe. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Um, I will. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, okay, I say that, and then it's like, we'll see what happens. So, <laughs> yeah, just yeah, let's yeah. see what happens first. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'll roll with. Uh, I'll I'll roll with uh, water, which is my uh, best stat. Okay. Because uh, I'm doing it carefully mm -hmm. um yeah cool so 2d6 plus two so yeah i got a 10 okay uh, oh 10 yeah. <clears throat> 10 plus gain two hold so where do you want to spend it <clears throat> uh i will gain a clue okay clue <clears throat> pardon me hmm. Let's see what we got. All right, so you're like examining the body and explaining as you go. Mm -hmm. So the obvious things, the very large stab wound on the back, on on his back, and the and the the dried blood <clears throat> and such. But as you go through um, his body, and then you just notice uh, different things. Um, you see that as he's face down, the, not sure what it's called, but it's like he's wearing, um, the specific six sandals and he's, he's got the, uh, the, 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 the sock. There's a slight tear on the back of the sock and in the tear, you see a small pinprick on the back of the heel. That is your clue. The pinprick wow. on the back of a heel. Wow. Go ahead and put that in under the under a clue. 
Yeah, I'll do that. Pinprick on the back of a heel. I <laughs> take the. Uh, okay, so it. So I, I, I'm seeing the wound. There is no pin, correct? Like it's just. No, uh, it's, you it's see the pin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I stand up and go like, ah, oh, you know, just loudly. Some days you just don't discover anything. Oh, well, okay. I, 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 okay, I, I'm done here, chief. And I, <laughs> I'll, I leave, yeah. And I stand outside and just uh, look and just look around to see what people are doing. But yeah, I'm just, I say loudly, oh, God, there's nothing here. Uh, detecting so hard sometimes, yeah. And then I go. And do you make any comments or do you, do you say anything to him as he's doing this? If, if I, do I, I don't know if I saw the pen, like, Whatever he doesn't, he doesn't I don't you know, I don't think you showed him, did you? No, no. I, I, I didn't, I didn't. So it is uh yeah, so it, it does look like I failed, yes. To find anything. Okay. Okay, then I probably like any comment I would make would probably be nothing at this point because they because I wouldn't make a comment, a negative comment in front of other people like that. Not that oh, much of a monster. So <laughs> nice. you're, you're thinking it though. You're thinking it. Right. Yeah. That's interesting. I, I'm definitely thinking it. Yeah, but supportive. Supportive fiance though. I will say. Yeah, yeah, but right. not embarrassing you. That's nice. That's nice. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I well, I think I would look uh so like study just the whole room, just to because there are people here who I wanted to meet. <laughs> so I like get a quick study if the there's others in the room. Just to look around to see them, what they're or what they're doing. Okay, so you're studying in terms of like you know talking to people, or you're just observing, just like observing the people, like looking at <clears> what <throat> everyone's doing, or any if anyone's here doing anything Perfect. suspicious or anything Perfect. like that. All right, go ahead, and then like you know just use the appropriate um uh, ah element. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I think it's going to be awareness. Uh, um for because that's water i mean water sorry i got 11. oh nice okay so that's two hold uh yep cool and then how do you want to spend that two hold i don't know if i should just get another clue or if i should get some more information about what's going on in here that is up to you oh uh, so there's blood oh go ahead also a fun thing you can do is you can just like reveal a detail so yeah, you it's make like up finding something. a clue, except you make it up. And yeah. it's cheaper than finding a real clue, which is very weird, but it's fun. Yeah. I mean, okay. if you, if you, if you want to put the thumb, uh, yeah, if you want to put your thumb on the scale, this yeah. is your I, way of I creating do. a clue. Yeah. I do. I, I think I will like have some sort of like cloth or that I will like collect some of the blood and smell it and smell um, the type of like I, I want to say that I smell it and I'm able to s smell a, a type of poison that I might be familiar with. Fancy. Okay. Well, put that into the. Is into, that too much? No. Well, I mean, like you know, no, like no, no, no. yeah, just go ahead and put it under the the clues. Like you know, um, blood no, has it's, the. It's not. It's it's not technically a clue, right? It's just. I'm just revealing a detail. Yeah. But are unless I can you I don't. I don't know if I can put my thumb on the scale for an actual clue or that's, I guess that's the question. Yeah, it's I a don't... mechanical thing, right? Like, are we, yeah. Sorry, Matt, how do you want to do this? Um, Is I the... mean, I feel if you're going to be spending two hold to declare a detail, I feel like if it just has the same weight as a clue, I mean, that's how I, that's how I okay. kind of like think yeah. of it. You know, you're, you're literally like, you know, you're declaring this as, as a clue. <laughs> so, Okay, I mean, I'm willing to make it to do that. Clue. Yeah. Okay. I just didn't want to like put my thumb on a scale and get a clue because I didn't want to. Okay. I'll do that. Yeah. I'll spend nice. my whole for that. Yeah. So I mean, nice. like, I'm happy to 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 have you make that a clue. So basically, blood smells of a poison that you're familiar with, but you know, you can contextualize it now or contextualize it when you do the full theorize. So that mm -hmm. is up to you. All right, uh, let's move on to Jade Starlight. Now you've been thwarted before, 
in trying to to I guess reveal your feelings to to Yang or you've had a relationship with Yang before? Mm, it's probably the first of the two, I think. Okay. I I talked to them briefly and I thought, oh yeah, they're, they're kind of nice. Okay. <laughs> <You know? laughs> not not really knowing what they actually did. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like you know, he's he's killed before. <laughs> you know, he's he's been quite ruthless to his opponents. I, I will yeah, say. Yeah. So I mean, it's basically the equivalent of walking on the street and a cute stranger passes by and you think, oh, okay, hello. Oh man. Oh geez. Okay. So anyway, I, I'm gonna say in that case, then you're gonna have a tougher time trying to get access. I mean, like you know, you're you're craning like Fair you enough. know your neck and like trying to get a get a yeah. view of like what's going on. But of course, everybody wants to get a look and see what the hell's going on over at the competitor's tent. Um, uh, but you know, you're getting no closer than 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 half of the other gaggle of the crowd that's that's trying to. To find out what happened although word's gotten around fast i mean there are people that are that are like like you know uh you know uh, butting up to you and just saying it's like did you hear it's like you know he was found like you know stabbed in the back um and then other people are going like yeah i mean like you know i think he was hung up by his ankles and so they're just like making it more like fantastic as 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 they're mm. telling the story you know and um it's like uh you know some people are saying it's like a, it's, it was a, a bet gone wrong and like you know no 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 that's not what it is it's like it was like that compet that new person that came on it's like you know they they wanted to make sure that they that he didn't have a chance to to fight the champion again so they had to take out the champion you know so all sorts of rumors. Everything is like you know anything that they could say about it about his uh, death um, is is just being bandied about in the crowd right now. So how do you, mm. how would you like to uh, investigate, study, whatever you want to do? I mean, I, I suspect um, all the competitors tend to be in the same area. So when everyone is gathering here at um, the tent of the murder victim, and I see that there's um, no way in for me at this moment, mm -hmm. I think I'll just walk past. Uh -huh. And I'm going to go to uh, Guo Boteng, uh, Botong. Mm -hmm. Tong stand, the most uh, mysterious contestant. Oh, nice. Okay. You know, just for fun. Take a look. Maybe, maybe the there. Maybe not. Maybe I can get inside. Okay. The tent. <laughs> yeah. No. No. I think when you go into uh, <clears throat> his tent. For some reason, it's like it's very smoky in here. It's as if maybe he had his incense pots going like, you know, at full tilt <laughs> for some reason for way too long. But it's very smoky. You can't quite see. And the lamps aren't lit or maybe they were lit. But again, it's just so dark and smoky in here. You can barely see. Do you say anything or do you just kind of like try to go in further i think i'll announce myself and, and see if anyone's here you hear a distant growl why are you here who are you my name is jade starlight and i'm with the silver crane alliance Do we know that as a historian uh, group or? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you here to record the doings of the tournament this year? I am, but also there's been a murder. <sighs> well deserved. Oh, so you, you know who was murdered? How could I not? I was supposed to fight him. 
after I was so <laughs> wrongly put to the test. Did you hear what they had me do? You had to compete several people. Fight against two, right? It was easy, but I didn't see anybody else having to do that to earn their right when I already had that right through the token. You still don't see him. You just hear him mm. through the smoke. So, since I'm a historian, would you mind telling me more about the token or maybe even showing it to me? I can show you. Wait a moment. You hear some shuffling in the background as if he's putting something on. And then just as soon as you, as you hear something being put on, it's like the smoke just dissipates as if it was mm. no longer there. And he comes out of the, the darkness of the back of his tent and he's got his full mask on and he's wearing his robes. And in his gloved hand, he will have this token. And uh, yeah, this token, um, let me see. Eh, I'll just tell you, you don't need to, to roll on this or anything like that. Mm -hmm. You'll know it as being, um, it is of the Green Leaf Society from 10 years ago but it is defaced in some way. Like it's got some scars in it, like some, like as if somebody's like slashed it or, or, or broken it in some way, like chipped it. And it kind of marks it as something uh, being involved in that incident from 10 years ago, the death of Lan Wushan. And out of character that that's like the overarching mystery, but we're not sure what exactly happened or do we know? Yeah, so from the from the first mystery <clears throat> in this in this bit of a of a puzzle, um, there was the like the Greenleaf Society that um, had several alliances, like several groups belonging to it, and it broke up because there was the death of one of the leader of the Greenleaf Society, which was the the death of uh, Alan Wushan. Uh, so because of that death then they they dispersed or they broke up but they don't know who killed him and that was mm. that was why they they broke up i think that, like it was all about of like you know you know you did it no you did it you know that kind of thing so mm. they couldn't trust each other after that i mean i personally have some ideas but i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> sure um if if you're implying there's no need to study the token, I think I'll, I'll study him instead. I mean, it's a piece of fascination, like you know, for like an overarching kind of a kind of thing going on. You know, if you're curious about it, but I mean, and yeah. it's also a facet of the current mystery, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, even in the last mystery, we part of our theorizing was that. The, the 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 person who was doing all the killings was involved in the death of Lan Bushan. Like we set that mm. up. So we know there was like a conspiracy to murder and things like that. Like it was a conscious, like somebody destroyed this alliance and uh, Sun Guan Yu was, uh, uh, was one of the people who was involved and profited from it. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see. So, and that's something I guess they're going to keep doing. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So if you want to study him, like what are you using for an, <clears throat> an element and how? I'll, I mean, I'll even accept like, you know, questioning him, you know, like trying to be curious, excuse me, curious about him and then, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm going to, to ask questions that aim to anger him 
and see how he reacts. Ooh, okay, okay. Well, I'm going <clears> to <throat> roll with fire because that's a bit risky. Cool, but cool, creative. cool. So basically, I've done my homework. I know as a historian about the Green Leaf Society, but Ooh. you know, let's see. <laughs> it go for it. I, I love it. Go for it. I, I, I love that. Just go for it. Uh, that's an 11. Ooh, okay. And uh, basically, I could bump it up with a bond, <clears throat> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want to do? I'm, I'm just curious if that's uh, what, what's different. I get three hold, and three hold means um, I could. You could gain a clue, which you can associate it directly with the mis one of the mystery facets, and then mm -hmm. rewrite the mystery facet to to really put your thumb on the scale. Okay, that's interesting. But to be honest, at this very moment, I don't have like an idea. <laughs> right, right, right. So I'm not. I'm not or you could, or yeah, but I mean, like, okay. So, so I'll I'll say this, right? So you could conceivably do a regular two hold to gain a clue, mm -hmm. and then put your one hold in reserve to carry over into something else for later. I'll let you do that. You you could. You could also just spend it now to do something like learn a person's scale or like ask a question about yeah, another question. Fair yeah, enough, yeah. fair enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so mean, uh, I think I'll do that then. Um, okay. So two hold for a clue and then ask another yeah. question? Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, which bond I'm going to use my, my bond with uh, Yang Mo Fang, actually. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Piss him off. All right, go for it. Okay, so you're going to bump it up to a 12. All right. All right, let me get you a clue first as you're thinking of how you're pissing him off with like, you know, oh, this will be great. Oh, this clue was made for this. Damn. All right. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. So I, I think you're, you're, you're talking to him and then you're, you're like mentioning like all sorts of things that you're like, you know, really digging the screw in with like, you know, mentioning um, uh, how he's connected with, with Young and why he wants to fight um, Young in particular, right? Yeah, and basically I'm going to say, I, as a historian, I'm going to write an obituary. And I'm I'm elaborating, saying that how much of a heroic uh, fighter he was, you know, like painting him in the best uh, possible light. How can you possibly do that about such a disgust? Disgusting individual, imbalanced, improper, and a man whose chi is so <sighs> poisoned that anyone around him could could possibly be poisoned in return. And the clue, as you're as he's saying this to try to sway you is the fact that you see in him signs of an unusual chi imbalance. Mm. That's a clue. So you can go ahead and put that into the, into the uh, mystery. Signs of an unusual chi imbalance. And it doesn't have to, when you contextualize this for the theorize, I will say, this doesn't necessarily have to be directly about Guo Butong. It can be about anything like when you put the clues together but oh, okay. for you for your conversation at this moment it is yep. he, he, you you notice this about him okay Fair enough. and it is very specific about him in this moment <laughs> signs of an unusual chi imbalance so yeah he's getting he's getting very um upset and even though you can't see his facial features, you can see it in his in his um, uh, body language. Like you know, he's getting very tense. He's getting very um, uh, yeah. You can see he's getting enraged. Yeah. I think I'd like to declare detail. Okay. What? Uh... Um, I I think. Without his mask, he will, um, you know, uh, since since the way you set it up, I think he needs his mask to materialize. So if you'd remove it, 
heat kind of uh, disperse, become smoke like. And and so he really needs that one to hold him together in a way. Okay. Planning on testing that out? Or are you just thinking it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not at the moment. I think that that'd be too too much. Okay. Uh, but uh, I, I make a mental note of it. Okay. And um, I, I'm going to say um, thank you for your time i will consider what you just said for my records please do and as a historian you may want to consider a more balanced approach to your records and then he kind of recedes into the darkness and then as he does and disappears from view then the smoke starts to come back again Jintong, where are you? <laughs> uh, I I am also around this area, mm -hmm. like uh, the tent. Where no, I'm I am a, around the, the tents where uh, all the contestants are staying. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> again, you you might have seen. Soup and Haran go in and then come out. Um, you might uh, have seen. Can I like... say that I haven't? Because oh, okay. I think if I see Soup, I would need to trigger inner conflict, and oh. I don't know if that's that interesting right now. No, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. there's there's so much crowd right get right now. I mean, like you know, you might be on the on the fringes and then listening to everybody, like you know, say all these rumors. They know that a that a body has been found stabbed in the back some people have definitely confirmed it's young you know and then they're therefore it's like you know they know it's one of the competitors the champion that uh um <clears throat> but yeah but there, there's all sorts of rumors about like how he was found for sure stabbed in the back strung up by his ankles you know found with with lovers like on top of him whatever i mean like all sorts of weird shit <clears throat> so okay and i will be um yeah, just, um, I mean, I could roll to disappear into the shadows until I'm found. Um, I might do that, actually, since I have that move. <laughs> I might as well use it. Okay. Um, yeah, it is my move. Reign of Assassins. When you become undetectable using shadows and concealment. Cool. And I will roll with, um, I'll roll with metal. Okay. <laughs> um, that is a six. <laughs> awesome. <clears throat> On a miss, your attempt fails and leaves you vulnerable. How are you vulnerable? It's either that i run into soup or it's that uh, it's someone that wants to oh someone that wants to kill me oh yeah there's also that <laughs> how about so this I... how about this because i find this <laughs> hilariously funny i find this where i think soup has been like you know waylaid by chief um Ouyang, but how run is trailing behind and sees you as you're trying to hide. How That's are you? Totally you, know, fine. you know what you know what Jintong looks like. You know that mm -hmm. you know she escaped. She escaped. Mm. Yes. Do I do I Try see like do, do I see do I see like a kind of like a focus like dolly zoom on 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 Jintong, you know, in, in Haoran's view? I think this might be the uh, first time that you're seeing Jintong in person, actually. Mm -hmm. Like maybe yes. you've seen like one of those uh, paintings before. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I probably have like a hand-drawn picture yeah. mm -hmm. that was 
and some whatever. <laughs> I'm just thinking of like a terrible sketch, and I'm like, that's her. Uh, <laughs> Unscroll. Yeah, so it's probably... <laughs> Unscroll. Oh, uh, it's probably like so. It's like a very tiny scroll, one of those yeah, yeah, yeah. tiny ones. <laughs> Wanted. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh... So... Oh man, there's probably like an obvious double take that like not even like look. I just, it's like I you're just, not sure because you're just not sure. I just get this slow motion, slow motion thing where like you know your your robes are like waving slowly in the breeze, and Howrin's like gaze is just slowly zooming in on you, and all this kind of stuff. So, in this case. What happens? Because <clears throat> you are vulnerable. Oh man! Yeah, does Howard want to do anything before I? I think feel, that nothing's wrong. <laughs> I feel like I feel mm. and study, like that's what I would do. But oh man, um, I, I feel I like this would be study the, would work. Because well, I think at this I mean time is... I would give a wrong impression because my first thing would be to see Jin Tong and then look at Soup and then look then look back at Jin Tong. <laughs> so it may give any kind of impression as to what that actually means. No, 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 no. I'm actually oh. thinking. I'm actually more thinking. This is a almost a PC versus PC duel at this point. Just saying. I mean, that's oh, how I read I the mean... situation. I mean. That's how I read the situation. Uh, sure. The yeah. Okay, I mean, so let's, is... let's reorient what, the situation. The yeah. yeah. So, so what happened is that I failed my role. So therefore, uh -huh. uh, Jin Tong is now vulnerable to uh -huh. anything that can happen to her. Uh -huh. And yeah. then I will uh -huh. react to whatever that happens. And so this is an opening and Mads is presenting it as an opening for you, Haoran, to like do what you would like. If you don't want to do anything that might trigger a move then we can talk but i think this is what is being presented right now yeah you could you if 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 john if you're not interested in like violence right now yeah. like you could also take vulnerable to like learn something about jin tong right like to see like jin tong okay you know, yeah, I'll, yeah i'll do that i'll study to see if i can learn something about them since then i'm sorry i completely didn't understand what was happening like what uh, okay yeah and Matt, does that make does that work for you like i mean does study make sense for this particular situation i mean like you know i'm or if you if you want to escalate to like we can also have someone else like realize who Jin Tong is as this is happening like if that's what you would like as the result of my the failure of my rule yeah, I mean, I just feel like there, you know, there just needs to be some kind of consequence of like, you know, yeah, you're I, being I mean, vulnerable. Yeah, I because I think um, I would excuse myself from suit and make a beeline to Jin Tong. I just I don't know what move specifically I would be trying to do is where I'm kind of um stumbling on. Because I think in this moment, I definitely would, I feel like it would be study, but I think I would also want to go and confront Zentong in this moment because in which I case have it been would, looking for them. In which case okay, it would sure. be a P, it would be a PC versus PC duel. You would put a okay. single offer on the table, which I would, would approve. You yeah. can offer an action you could offer some kind of bond it changed to entanglement narrative whatever so i mean like basically mm -hmm. if 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 jintong accepts they lose the duel mark xp you must follow through on your offer if the other player rejects the offer then you both mark an element and then the offered player chooses to, to win or draw so because I mean, like I know this is part of the entanglement. You are, chi you are, you are, you are, you are <clears throat> after Jin Tong as a target, which this move mm. seems to make the most sense in this case. So you would put a single offer on the table since she is your target. What do you want to? What do you want to do? What do you want to offer? Okay, so she's essentially so caught. I don't want it to be violence, so okay. not especially that, with all these people, <laughs> right? 
And I forget, do you know that the Jintong and Soup are friends? Or I think know each I other? know I think I know he he like his friends. I, I don't know unless Soup never talks about any of that. I think I would have learned something just from, you know, I'm about to be betrothed, but I don't know who I would know. I'm just like the only. I, it's like I don't know what to offer in this situation. I'm sorry. I should be prepared for a duel, but I'm not. So um, a bond, maybe. I don't know. It could mm. be anything narratively interesting as well. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Um, well, no. I, I. I think. I think we might be forcing John into something here, Mads, that he's That's not. True. Like, yeah. yeah. I, 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 okay. I'm reading this like. Like yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. I, Mike, I agree. Okay. I mean, we don't have to. <clears throat> uh, yeah. It could. So let's. I'm sorry. I, I just don't. I mean, don't. Uh, let's see. Um. So you know, you see, like, there's a, there's a, there's a sight line to Jin Tong for, for Howren, no. but then I think that's interrupted by somebody else. Who would it be? Who would it be? Oh, I know. Um. Let's see. Who would it be? Somebody else that was looking for Jin Tong. Hmm. Yeah. And yeah, I can also just offer you information on Jin Tong if you'd like, as without you needing to roll. If that's an interesting thing, Matt. Yeah, okay. that would be interesting. Okay. I'm sorry. I just like I can't think of what you would like, offer in this situation other than me trying to either like blackmail them or something. But I don't think I would. I'm not going to go up and try to poison Jin Tong in this situation. Is this? I don't. Mm -hmm. think, like, I, I mean, it could don't be. Know what I would be doing. I mean, I would accept blackmail. I mean, like if if that's what you want to do, you can totally do that. And like, it doesn't have to be like you know something violent or or deadly. You know what I'm saying? So that's perfectly fine. If you had something that you wanted to do about blackmail, then that would be, you know, narratively fine. Um, but if you don't have anything, that's, you know, we'll, we'll yeah. retcon that. We'll like, you know, we'll, we'll take that off and then we'll, we'll have somebody else um, that uh, Jin yeah. runs Yeah, sorry in. about that. No, no worries. I'm just trying to like utilize the, the moves that I see on the page. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh no no I I get that it's just like most of the time I have some sort of idea and it's just like ah <laughs> and also to and to, and to give you guys opportunities to use your entanglements you know <laughs> since so mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. so let's see uh, let's see um so who do you think makes you uh vulnerable um Jintong? Well, in terms of the PCs, yeah, it would have been either Haran or Soup. Soup. So, right. Um, but NPC wise, we can always, I don't know, if we want someone to put Jintong in a precarious situation, I think any of them can probably. Like Radish could appear. Yeah, and honestly. Then I have to deal with that. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I I can I can uh, <laughs> um, I I can see soup like this vulnerable moment. Uh, I can see my my pitch would be that soup sees Jin Tong looking at him, and then like comes up to her and sort of is like, and will kind of like push the push the subject, just being like hey, you know. Uh, yeah, we could do that if mm -hmm. Matt's... something like that. Yeah. Yep, that's fine. Go for okay. it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this, I think, this is how we play it. Uh, I think Soup sees Jin Tong, and I think uh, uh, John uh, Haran will see all this, of course. Like Soup sees Jin Tong, and then will kind of like you know, um, uh, there'll be kind of uh, a, a mischievous look will come upon his face, and he like walk up to her, and I think. She, the surprise is that she thinks that she's hiding right now, that she can't be seen. And he's just going to show up and be like, oh, thought you, thought you staring at me. I guess, uh, uh, you know, like everyone else, you can't resist my charms. And Soup is saying this because he's like, this for sure is not what's happening here. <laughs> what a funny joke, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm making. And 
and, and yeah that's what soup just kind of like shows up at jin tong's like shoulder yeah okay i i need to understand the blocking of this situation yes. where yes. is soup standing and how close is soup standing <laughs> You're going to just kill me right now. Oh no! Oh no! It, this, is, this, is gonna be, this is going to be a repeat oh, no. of oh, uh, the, yeah. the introductions uh, yeah. scene yeah. from last I, time. I, I I show up. Be, I show up behind you. Oh God! I, I, even worse. I, I, yeah, I'm speaking. You know. You know, from from behind, just across the shoulder. So it's like no. you're looking. I see you. Uh, look at me. I see you turn away. Then I kind of like show up, and it's just behind you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I can offer this as a PC to PC tool, or we can just negotiate it. <laughs> yeah, just tell, yeah, just tell me. I yeah. think Jintong yeah. Jintong will like at the sound of a like the voice like so close to her, uh, and also thinking that she is hiding, <laughs> like spin around and like um. Don't heart steal. Don't heart steal. Don't heart steal. Please. I don't think that. I don't think that she <laughs> you would, would like. I don't think that she would like shove soup, uh, like against anything, because that's that's not her instinct, and that's also not her training to like create more commotion than necessary. But she does like her her hand is in the claw, and it does like rest again, um, on uh, Sue's chest, like right where his heart would be, um, and then but then like. She does that in this as a snap decision and then sees who it is he, and then registers um what soup is saying and then like freezes. <laughs> I, I think soup also freezes and which is standing there in that moment <laughs> for a bit when uh, soup's like hmm. <clears throat> soup. I was joking. <laughs> I think how Ryan would clear their voice to it's like a too long of a pause, but not say anything. <laughs> so how Ryan is also here. I love that. <laughs> I'm here too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, incredible. Just, uh, I I just want to clarify. This does not look like a romantic scene. This looks like no. I was almost assassinated. Yes. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. Yeah. It was almost death. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Depending yeah, yeah. on where you're standing. <laughs> okay. From where I'm standing, it looks like Jin Tong might has, has this put her hand on Soup's chest. I don't know. Oh, that. right. right. <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah, That's fair. true. Which um, looks ev- terrible. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, yeah. God. It looks uh, terrible no matter what. Uh, Jin Tong, like, very quickly steps away, like, takes a step back. Soup. Uh, sorry, I, I, I should know better than to creep up on you like that. I, I apologize. No, I. I should have been more careful, less reliant on my past. Abilities. Uh, it's uh, it's nice to see you. Sorry, what a line. Sorry, okay. <sighs> I did not realize that you were coming. Are you attending the tournament? Uh, I'm, I'm working, actually. Uh, and then eyes will flick over to Hauran and be like, "Yeah, I'm here uh, uh, with uh, uh, my sister, um, Radish. You'll see her somewhere around here. I also saw Gullible Moo, and." Uh, also, my 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 fiance, uh, friend Aldrin. Fiance. I guess yes. It's a, a happy uh, occasion. I know. I know a murder still happened. Sorry, I should not 
say that uh, it's um, yeah yeah everybody's yeah sorry inner happy conf- sad it's so confusing it's so confusing inner how, how conflict <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> inner conflict? But who, which one of us I don't know yeah. I don't know all of I'm them, definitely all gonna of them. inner conflict I'm just not sure if John you wanted to have power and like say hi before Dinton dips or if you oh, yeah. are fine with Dinton just dipping right away yeah. I, I guess oh, I mean, decided I, that this role is going to be a seven tonight. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, These I, dice I think her, reliably have rolled low. <laughs> Always. I think Huran her, her would introduce themselves at least, especially after Soup went through the list and ended <laughs> with Huran <laughs> after seeing after Gullum uh, stepped <laughs> in close to soup and then step back I assume after you realize I was there and that is what actually happened I mean this is uncomfortable from many different levels oh my gosh yeah introduce many introduce different yourself. levels my dice are ready to roll so okay. please okay okay but, so but... Haran do your thing yeah <laughs> on whatever level you want to do your thing before Jintong does the roll please uh, so I think uh, how Rand steps forward to like make it the mess up their intimately close situation. Yes. <laughs> Just like steps forward a little bit yes. and says, "Yes, um, I am Soup's betrothed. It's you are a f- close friend to to Lizzie." Okay, now I will roll inner conflict. <laughs> uh, if you run away <laughs> without speaking, that would be so good. <laughs> uh. What'd you roll? I'm gonna roll with fire okay. because I think this is speed. Like, think of something. Think of what to do. I think it's like quickly. Is, yes. Is the energy. Yes. These dice. They... They truly uh, live up to their expectations. I have rolled a four. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, mark an element if you want to stand seen or flee. No, no I just no, failed. So you yeah, get to GM do whatever. Yeah, the makes it worse. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it is not a oh. seven to nine. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Make things worse. Oh, God. How am I making it worse? You guys I mean, are just we... making things we we can also take a break soon. Yes, we knew we're gonna do for a break. Yes, I need I need time to think about how much I can make this so much worse. Oh god! Yeah, you can yeah, have because a hot be like, move is... Hey, bro. <laughs> okay. Would yes. Fine. Yeah. Let's take a ten minute break, and then I will make this worse when we come back. <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> we're in this weird triangle. Jintong looking at soup, looking at Howren, who's looking at Jintong, and then all of a sudden, in the middle of this, we we cut over to radish who puts herself in like you know as the fourth in this uh group and she looks over at soup and says looking for you (sighs) chief liang let me know where you were (sighs) well hadn't been for me uh before you will be here for me now come on you're gonna watch me compete i'm up against ching rogang and she grabs you by the collar and then she will drag you off. And then she she will pass you, uh, Horan, and say, oh, hi, Pen. And then, like, you know, just just drag you off to the arena. And, uh, like, Jintong, I don't know if she, she knows who you are, um, but she doesn't give you a look back because she's busy dragging her brother over to the arena to have him watch her. And that's how it's worse. Um, because she's your target. I guess. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Nice. We're gonna cut. We're gonna cut over to Jade. Jade, you've come out of the, uh, out of uh, Guo Butong's tent, mm. and uh, the next match is is getting ready to go up in the arena. I th- I don't know if you're familiar with um, any of any of them, but it's uh, Chen Rogong in in her in her signature red, is mm. like has pulled the scabbard from her back. She does not take her sword out of it, but it you do see that it is a unique um, <clears throat> guard and pommel. It just seems to have like a strange like um, 
etched design, like in pieces. And um, yeah, she doesn't seem to be removing it from the scabbard at all. And she's just waiting for her competitor, which uh, seems to be somebody that you may have seen before <clears throat> practicing in the in the practice ring. Well, I, I do know her name. Oh, so you do know Radish. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then, <laughs> yeah, but you see Radish for some mm -hmm. reason dragging soup by the collar to the edge of the, of the arena of the, of the battle ring and um, kind of depositing him there. And then like, you know, she strides up to the, uh, to the center and will do the, the whole, like, you know, greeting and then like you know we'll you know get ready in her stance and then like you know um chief oyang will do the presentation the introduction da 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 and then they'll go into a fight and then we go into a slight montage of of them battling it out and just as a note cheng rogong does not remove her sword from her scabbard at all during the fight interesting that is her that is her particular way of fighting does she fight with another weapon or is she fighting that is how she fights with her sword in like remaining in the scabbard oh okay okay she fights so the scabbard is getting that's a flex yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah um and and i don't put remember completely but we said like the arena itself was pretty wacky right Yes, it is like basically half obstacle course, half half arena. So like, you know, nice. as they're trying to get through like like the unbalanced stones and like, you know, some of the the raised uh like uneven platforms <clears throat> and the water course and all this kind of stuff, they have to fight each other. Like they're their own gladiator matches, you know, kind of thing. Mm. And so like, you know, like anytime that they, they, they get forced to meet each other, then they have to fight, you know, with their, with their respective weapons. So, you know, um, Radish is holding her own, like, you know, as best as she can. And I think, yeah, I think like, you know, people are, are really, are really enjoying themselves for this particular fight. And, uh, I mean, it actually ends up being a draw. Like nobody, like nobody has any, has any, like, you know, any real, um, ascendancy over the other. It's just <coughs> where they <coughs> acknowledge each other's skill and, uh, they both like, you know, come out of it, uh, you know, uh, with their honor intact, I guess. I mean, like, you know, there's, there's no doubt about it. I mean, like they're both very good combatants. So, <laughs> Of the chat <clears throat> but anyway yeah and they both come off of the obstacle course like you know both successful and you know chief oyang actually looks like you know pretty proud of the spectacle that they've created and like you know the fanfare and everything i mean like everybody's very pleased even though it came to a draw like nobody's displeased like nobody's booing or anything like that so he's very happy about it <laughs> regardless of being called tournament of death it's like oh nobody died because well there was already a death earlier so i guess that kind of fulfilled the the, the condition yay <clears throat> but yeah and so they get ready for the the next bout which is two other completely different combatants. I mean, there's there's plenty of people here, so that's that's not a problem. It's, you know, um, <clears throat> and then like you see in the betting, there's like like people surreptitiously going in and out of the betting parlor, um, you know, like placing their bets, doing their thing, and then coming right out again. And uh, the betting in particular, who's going to win? PC present at this moment. I mean, soup was dragged there. Yeah. What are, like? What are you? <clears throat> what are you guys doing after <clears throat> Radish's bout? Yeah. Uh, Michael, do you imagine Jay talking to Soup, or are we cutting back to? Uh, <laughs> are we cutting back to Jin Tong and hold on? I I, I mean, think yeah. I'd like to have a scene with you, but I don't mind the order. Oh uh, no, we can. Yeah. Either way. Yeah. Um, yeah. so, um, let's, let's just quickly recap. What's our relation? We've met, we are friendly. I got you the, I got you a job with Chief Oyang, so I know that's your true. real identity. That's true. 
yeah and i have been apparently uh interrupting every attempt you had to talking mm. to yang or feng so if you feel at all put out by that that would be good <laughs> yeah yeah that, that that's my angle here that's that's what i'd like to address so um i mean m maybe i get a chance to talk to you while it's just you your sister is uh... maybe it's why she's still fighting yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. That's good. So, um, I, I, um, probably, you know, there, there's like a chance to, to sit next to each other and have a conversation while both of us look at the arena. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. So do you think your sister will win? Hmm. Um, no, I, if I remember correctly, she's not very good at this, but my memory is five years out of date. Uh, she might have become um, actually competent with this word since then. Who knows? Shen Rogang is the, is the mystery. Have you seen her sword? I have not, in fact. I mean... Obviously, she she's fighting with it, but I haven't seen it unsheathed. I would have loved to see Yang Mo Feng fight as well, but I suppose that's not possible anymore. Uh... And, and you don't have to re reply immediately. Uh, maybe maybe I continue. You know, I would have loved to let him know what I think about him, how I feel, but I never got the chance. And I suppose you know the reason why. Uh, I... It, it it feels like you're trying to tell me something, Jane, and uh, <laughs> I'm not sure exact. So you um, you have you had feelings for Yang Mofang? I did, but you've never. Oh. Oh, I see. I am sorry for your loss. Thank you. And out of character, I think I might want to do hearts and minds because. <laughs> <laughs> now you might be susceptible to my words. Um, do you have something for me to do? Is yeah, I'm, I'm wondering yeah. what that might be. Actually, um, maybe, maybe uh, I, I'm not sure since I didn't meet uh, those NPCs in the first place. Maybe like uh, introduce me to an NPC you know but you don't like. Uh, could be the King of Pearls, could be Chang, Rugang, could be Undaunted Sedong. Those three are like in my. So, uh, so, but like, what's the reasoning here? Like, I feel like the thing for you to do is either to be interested in who did the murder, in which case mm -hmm. you want to work with me on this, or you that's you true. specifically don't want to work with me on this, right? Like, that's the that's the question in my head. Like, are we? Are you like you messed up and? you owe me like justice or is it like you messed up i don't trust you to do this like you know yeah i think it's the latter for for the moment okay. and and that can definitely change during the course of our game but yeah. i think um i i don't trust you at the moment nice okay so then do you want 
do you want me to just give you all the information I have so that you can solve it? Like, is that maybe the direction <laughs> to go in? Like, you know, in the sense that like, how would you do this, right? Like, what do you do? Yeah. Because all the introductions, like, you could also just say you've met these people before, right? Like, it's not like... That's true, that's true. What happened um, before the first session is like up to you. Fair enough. Um, then, then let me ask you a question in return. Um, Am I aware that you are actually a very good detective? Is is that I, something you you let people know? Because uh, like earlier, I quite like that scene where you said, "Oh, there's nothing here." Yeah, I think I think you you know that other people at least are, for example, chief. Oh Yang, who is your mm -hmm. employer, thinks I'm a good detective. You probably have never seen yeah. me do anything competent. Yeah. Uh, okay, then let's say um, let let's let's do it this way. I want to use heart and mind on you, so you tell me what you know, so I don't have to work with you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have to keep informing you or something. Like yeah, that. yeah, I like that. Go for it. Okay, let's see. Um, metal might be appropriate, and that's <laughs> that's a four. <laughs> yeah, which I like because now um, this this can get even more complicated. Yeah. Um. While man's thinks of a consequence, I think what Soup says is, Jade, I will find out who did this. Uh, it's my job, so I'm going to do it. But come on. If you think you're going to intimidate me or something like that, if you, you know, like, just, just don't, okay? I don't know if you know this, but not only am I an amazing detective, I'm also a master of the martial arts. You know, if I ever reveal the eight steps of the ghost, oh, you know, you won't. Let's let's just be clear. You won't make it to the fourth step. So, uh, you know, I'm going to help you because I, I'm a good guy. But, you know, just you're not you're not, you're not a scary person. Oh my, well, obviously Mark XP, <laughs> Jade Starlight, but also Mark and Element. Holy crap. What the hell? I'm um, not sure about the XP part. Uh, oh, that's right. Because it's that's only for, for inner, inner conflict. Inner conflict. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, damn. Um, but definitely <laughs> Mark and Element. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah. Dude, dude. So how did that make you feel? What element are you marking? I'm, I'm, I'm marking a medal. Um... <laughs> Because that's yeah. what I rolled with. But you can also pick based on how you're going to react to this, right? Yeah. Are you going to be reckless? Are you going to be ah. unsatisfied? Are you going to be angry? <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm already disdainful and and obsessive. So <laughs> let, let's mark overconfident because I'm gonna oops I'm gonna stand up and say. Well, surely, surely we know that talk isn't everything. It's actions that count. And to see your martial prose would be quite interesting. Put it to the test, you know, especially since there's a tournament right here. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe I should consider competing. Uh, don't you already have a job? A job that I got you, actually? Now that I think about it, that was an action that I did that for you. So, um, yeah, you know, maybe you should practice the action of being grateful. Hmm. 
I don't know why, but this has become very. Like, I think, I think, I yeah, think yeah. at this point, I think at this point, like you know, as you guys are talking, and then like you know, the 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 match where Radish and and Chen Wogong are uh, are like you know like closing to a draw, and everybody's like, yeah, you know, like cheering because it's like it's going so well. I think we'll see, you know, three mugs of ale, like or or whatever drink, like come between you. Three. Yeah, I know. Um, <clears throat> and uh, you hear the the dulcet tones of, of Undaunted Jadong come between you and say, come on, it's a tournament. Let's celebrate. Look at how good they're doing. Come on. I will look at Jade Starlight and then without break eye contact, try to drink all three, like very fast. Like, just like, you know, just, I'm, I'm just trying to make, I, I'm not looking at Undaunted. I'm uh -huh. never. <laughs> I don't know why that guy is still like talking to me after I slapped him. Like <laughs> he forgot. He just, was drunk. Yeah, he's just that guy. He's just that guy. Like, yeah. And then on he's, your other side, Jade's Jade, uh, you're gonna you're gonna undaunted. see it and like another mug come come out from around you. And then like, you know, J uh Undaunted will like whisper. It's like, don't mind him. He's just he's just like a sore uh, a sore winner. And 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 we don't have to play this out, but no. um, I, I I will happily accept that uh, mark and maybe talk a bit more to them because <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, I think I walk yeah. away. So if you, if you turn to even look at them, I'm just going to be uh, like, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. You know, be like, yeah, and the yeah. match and the match like you know ends. Everybody's all like you know happy and celebratory and everything like that. So. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, and, and just one more detail, yeah. I think. Um, obviously, this was like quite charged, but I pictured them having like a very calm conversation, you know. Um, it just in... happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what failing a role does, I think. Like, I, I escalated because of the role. That's perfect. Yeah. And yeah, I, yeah. definitely at some point, I, maybe that's a wish. Um, I want to have a duel with you. Yeah. Okay. I, I I will say that in the last in the last campaign in the climactic fight I tried to fight and I I, I failed so um, the canon is I can only remember the first three steps so when I said you won't even make it to the fourth step I was uh, like because I don't know how to get there perfect <laughs> I don't remember the technique anymore yeah yeah <clears throat> <clears throat> it's just it's it, it's a bit it's 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 a it's yeah, a really it's good a... it's really good fun bit cool um yeah. because uh john has to 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 leave early it's like you know uh how in any kind of scenes that you want it's like i want to make sure that you get the opportunity to do so in the next uh 20 minutes so uh who do you want to have a scene with you are on mute i would like to finish the, conver the conversation with jim kong mm -hmm. now that soup is left because this seems awkward, and I feel like there's some useless squeeze out of it. Yep. Are you still amongst the crowd, or are you near the near the the battle ring? Um, I'm not sure where that. No, I think we're still near the um the scene of the crime or the competitor tents. Yeah, because I feel like when soup got dragged away, that's still it, it got dragged away and now it's just Howren and Jin Tong by themselves. So I, I don't think I think it was like in that it's still at that point or maybe a few seconds later. I don't know. Yeah. If that's cool. Yeah, I would also love to reveal a detail to you again, because I feel mm -hmm. like that moment of vulnerability, I mean, yes, a lot of happened. But mm -hmm. I think also, um, right after um right after soup gets dragged away um, mm -hmm. Jin actually like um does like a like a very slight cough like and then mm -hmm. like just like like nonchalantly uh like mm -hmm. wipes away a little bit of blood from the corner of her mouth okay so how ran, how ran will probably definitely pick up on that detail, probably only because they're just looking back from watching um, uh, Radish. Um, Radish leave. Oh, and actually, probably just sorry. Happened to, oh. I, I 
want to correct my wording. It's not casually wiping away. It's surreptitiously wipe away uh, the, the, okay. the the drop of blood. And right. for, yeah. for, for your context that I don't mm -hmm. know if Haran would know, this is like Jintone's poison. Uh, the the mm -hmm. poison that is uh, going up her arm uh, and it's gone up like and when it arrives at her heart mm -hmm. then she dies. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And the heightened emotion is like making it worse. So mm -hmm. that's why she's like coughing blood mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah. So I imagine that Pan Haoran uses poison and that's part of how I think of describing the sea spray blade dance is that they they use poisons or, or daggers, which was like super inconvenient coming into this crime scene. <laughs> so just context for me. Okay, so I like I think after they're gone and I turn I turn back and it's just the two of us and I I still in my mind feel like you were having an intimate moment with soup which complicates my life but also gives me an end for a nice icebreaker cuz like Jin, Jin Tong, I, I, I must apologize. He does, does very courteous apology. My betrothal with Soup is an arranged marriage. I understand if you two are in a relationship, I won't stand in your way. I just simply we need not. you to know. You don't need to. We are not. Of course, I apologize again. I simply was saying that if any, if Soup has any relationships, but if thank Soup, you. of course, if Soup has any relationships, this is a arranged marriage. I will not keep him from someone that he loves. Jinto is going to you start turning else. away. Like, you do not need to tell me this. Uh, but I would <laughs> like to trigger my a deadly secret move, which is uh you can tell me, uh, John, if mm -hmm. you are cool with it, because this is my move. Uh where... I'm, not, I'm familiar with it, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah like because yeah. I can declare a detail from mm -hmm. a clan's activity from someone I meet, but because it's your clan, you can choose if you want that or not. You can say no, and I'm fine with that. Um what I would have declared is that um, the your school, the your clan, the Water Lily Society, um, the leader of the Water Lily Society um, has uh, is has recently started looking for um, of rare and exorbitantly expensive medicinal ingredient. Mm. That is the detail yes. that I would like to declare. Um, are you cool with that or I'm cool with that. I'm um yeah, definitely. I think that fits in what my vision of what they might be into that works. Yeah. And unclear I won't declare like why they're looking for it. Like it's for themselves, it's for someone else, and is someone injured, is someone sick? Uh but I will leave mm -hmm. that as narrative fodder for uh, Mads. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, Jin Tong is going to, yeah, turn away and be like. Okay, I, I apologize, but please, one, one more thing. I do want to get to know my patrol's friends, and I would like to offer any assistance I can to them. I noticed you had a, you have a cough. Uh, my clan does seek out herbs for various um, ailments. If you wouldn't mind coming to, we should speak later. You can tell me a little bit more about the whatever's the cause, and perhaps I can help you then. What is your, what is the, the, um, group that you present as being allied with. 
Um, I I treat I I see the Water Lily Society not being known as assassins. They're known as merchants. It's just that's the assassin assassin is something they also are being sort of pressed into doing because okay, so, of okay go ahead so as a for a part of the red lanterns association would i be mm-hmm. aware of the water lily society's relationship to the red lanterns or no i'm fine with either um, way. i can play into both i think you would be aware of the association with the water lily society to red lantern but i don't think the association of them being any sort of assassins at all they're more of like these are the people we buy our 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 rare herbs and things from okay sounds good um and jintone like looks like she's clearly considering because you did insult her upon first meeting her by implying something and then insisting on it when she said it was not true um yeah. do you want a hearts and minds me actually sure that sounds that might be fun let's let's yeah let's do that um i am not sure what element i'll roll the dice and see if it matters oh wait there what element what element makes sense I mean, the the question is: Do you do you want to achieve something? Do yeah. you want to get something from her? I yes, I do. I don't know what my approach would be, um, but I think what well, I do, I I want to have uh, Gentong meet somewhere less like pro- more private, not in the middle of this like hubbub where mm-hmm. there's people, the tournament going on. <clears throat> Maybe you're trying to impress upon her your sincerity, right? And so I'm trying to like more of like I give I would like an opportunity to apologize for this by offer offering to make amends, but that's what my how I'm presenting it. But and really, I just want to get Jin Tong somewhere where it would be alone, where you know they could com- complete their task. Again, I mean, like, you know, so. surface level, you're trying to pressure, and I would imagine that you're trying to do that with more sincerity than than intimidation. So I yeah. guess it can also okay. be earth, like presence. Like yeah. Okay, caution. presence makes sense. That makes sense. I'll do earth. I have a seven. Okay. Um, a seven. So I think that's a hit, but... Yeah. They may do what you mm. wish or instead choose to. Alienate, hesitate, overreact, oh, or reveal. Or for PCs, I oh, sorry. mark XP if I yeah. do as you ask. If they, if oh. you decline. Oh, but then you also mark an element if I decline on a seven to nine. No, I will accept. Um, I think that makes sense. Yeah, like there's another moment where Jin Tong like hesitates, and then she gives a curt nod. I apologize, and I apologize for my my um mistake, my faux pas, um, and my assumptions. But I will I'll try to make it up to you in the next week. And I'm I'm like I, I imagine they're just very prim and um and like stoic. I mean, like they don't really uh, have a lot of emotions. They're not smiling or happy, but they do look try to look as sincere as they can. Like they they they'll cast their eyes down because they feel a little bit ashamed about the accusation, especially something like that. Yeah, just two very stoic people with like not a lot of <laughs> facial expressions going on, and then uh, Jintong will like. Like basically, like take a step forward towards you to be like, okay, I'll follow you. Is the implication? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So, <clears throat> Jin Tung, mark your XP <clears throat> since you're doing what? Uh... Yes, I did. Okay, great. Where do we end up? Oh, lol. oh God! Where's the murder scene. <laughs> yeah, where's the second murder scene? Oh Lord. Uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> Again, um, there's you've got the nearby abandoned temple and graveyard. I mean, that's always oh, fun. Oh, that seems <coughs> like the place for it. That's I where in, that's the intimidation location. So apparently, yeah. we were only allowed that was to. Where I cut my assignment. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That seems to be okay. the best place to go. What the hell? Yeah, so. yeah. Okay. I mean, you know. So, uh, Jinho will follow, not very closely, because that's mm -hmm. weird. Um, right. All right. So, uh, <laughs> we've got nine minutes to resolve that, or, you know, do something weird, timey wimey stuff. You know, if we're gonna continue to play with Jin Tong, but then not have uh, uh, Pan Horan for the for the rest of the session, what would you like to do? <laughs> this next, might be a good place this. for sorry, the sorry. PC to PC duel, is what it sounds yes. like, John. Yeah, yeah. that sounds yeah. good. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. that I was wondering when it, <laughs> that would come up. So yes, so when you challenge another PC. Say what you'll give them if they accept your victory. You may offer unspent XP, character actions, burning bonds, changes to entanglements, letting them narrate the moment, or anything in-game, which I approve of. You put a single offer on the table. If the other player accepts, they lose the duel and mark XP. You must follow through on your offer. If the other player rejects the offer, you both mark an element. The offered player chooses to win or draw. So, what do you... What are you what are you putting on the table, John? I uh uh Horan. Yeah, what are you envisioning? Hmm. Um Yeah, set the scene. <laughs> so I imagine the scene like we, we we are walking up to the into the graveyard. We once we get there a turn it'll turn and we'll like this it's like polite conversation. And then I start like maybe like you know the the oblique conversation about the the whole um ask trying to find out what is going on with her with her health. And at some moment I see that when she like looks away, that's when I will like draw my weapon. And I, I imagine that they well, they the like it's like one like fluid motion where I think they like they kind of like like kiss two fingers, rub it across the blade, and bring it up to them threateningly. But I think the only reason they don't go for the they don't immediately go for their kills because I don't think they're really convinced that there isn't some sort of relationship between Gentong and Soup. And that complicates things for um, them. So I think. Okay. Uh, I think we can I'm maybe confused, get right. more into the, the role play uh, after yeah, yeah, yeah. we resolve yeah. this. So what do you want out of this? Do you want to win? Do you want to like, how do you want to win? Do you want to mortally wound Jin Tong or do you want to like win in some way like how do you foresee the victory that you're okay sorry this? sorry 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 I see them with the either they're winning they win and then they realize from hearing like cough or seeing something on it is the reason they don't actually kill Jin, Jin Tong but they will try attempt to kill them and it's See, recognizing the poison that is afflicting her, they they would not attempt. Actually, whether they win or lose doesn't really matter to me so much as the making sure that they realize the threat was there, and that I don't. I'm sorry, my my brain is broken today. That's okay. Okay, so let's say that you're your offer is to make it very clear to Jin Tong that there that um Haoran is is a threat and mm -hmm. can uh kill Jin Tong. Does that sound right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Okay. Um and I accept. <laughs> um, okay. I I don't think we need I don't think we need to do the whole negotiation thing because also we don't right, have right. that much time. But I think mm -hmm. What 
might be interesting is uh, if a part of why Haran um, doesn't like like really hesitates um, mm -hmm. aside from the fact that Jintong like when Jintong like defends herself um, her sleeve falls back and then you see that like line of poison um, mm -hmm. it's also like I think th there's a way when uh, Jintong turns her head that it's not that she looks like um it's not that the, her look is similar but there's something about her expression that reminds you uh of radish and that's the mm. that's the hesitation how do you feel about that you can also say no oh i, I like that yeah i i, I, I that, that works really well like that whole the whole situation yeah i see something that reminds me of radish i like almost as swiftly as i went to make the attack i with draw the dagger and put and put it away put it away and realize okay. and having seen all that at one time and just yeah yeah and i think that's what happens cool yeah so it's like you you do the thing uh, kiss your lips and then wipe it on the the dagger and like you know turns back and then you're alre already like what does it look like yeah, I think it's, like they're just holding the dagger at your neck, like they are waiting for you to turn around, and they are going to like stab you. And I think as you're turning around, that's when they saw the glimpse of how you looked like um, radish in that one in that moment. But having seen the poison too, that this this like there's like a, actual emotions probably play across their face. So that probably is inner conflict at that point. But then after that happens it's like they're withdrawing the blade and like it kind of like disappears under in their uh like robes yeah and Fancy like Jintong's reaction is just so much slower now that the poison has really worked its way in her body so like she just like raises her hand enough to like to like try to push her hand back but you are already mm -hmm. withdrawing the blade and this is what drives mm -hmm. home to Jintong that she's just so much slower now and not mm -hmm. Not at her peak, meaning that you can kill her. Cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. Um, and then this is the draw. Jin yeah, yeah. And then, uh, Jin Hong will like the expression that reminded you of Radish disappears, um, and mm -hmm. she, well, will like draw back her hand in the classic heart stealer, um, pose. You're you're. I'm familiar with that poison. You're I'm sorry. I there's really no reason for me to do what I need to do. It seems like that's gonna run its course on its own. Okay, I <laughs> What an insult uh, to Jin Tong. Uh, I think <laughs> this is, this would, um, this would make me propose another PC to PC duel. Because... Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask both Mark and Element. <laughs> I'm happy with Mark and Element for sure. Okay. What is the one that says my pride is wounded? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh... Shit, the one that makes most sense is my style. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh fudge. I'm I'm mark over to I I'm overconfident because I really know what a mark my style element, even though uncertain is probably the that's what I I'm I'm gaming the system. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm marking fire for reckless alienating and scattered but actually it might be angry so would but you sound like you sound angry <laughs> about this. all right oh my good um but yeah we can we can come from there mm -hmm. but okay. know that <laughs> Jin Tong will remember this <laughs> God. all right so john if you if you need to leave like you know whenever whenever you yeah. whenever you do it's like thank you <laughs> and we'll, we'll see right. you next week <laughs>
All right, I need to go. But sorry, but I, I, I'm super scattered today. But I no worries. All right. No worries. We'll see you next time, okay? <laughs> all right, see you. See ya. All right, so, all right, uh, let's uh, regather the forces and then um, <clears throat> downing of some meat or ale or whatever and... Uh, rice wine, these. most likely. Rice wine, thank in, you. like, yeah. cups, basically, yeah. or, like, bowls. Yeah. That, that's why That's why I could do it fast. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, it was, like, small um, bowls. It was just, like, yeah, it's yeah. very, very aggressive drinking. Um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would like a scene with an NPC. Sure. Um, and you have your choice of like, I, like I did put some 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 suspects into the mystery uh, tab, but uh, you have other people that you see in the portraits NPC tab um, <clears throat> separately. So feel free and pull upon that pool of people that are in the first two rows of um, the NPC tab if you haven't already met them. Okay, so. Uh, cool. Yeah. I think I think actually I'd like a seed with uh, radish. Okay. Um, Maybe fresh off of uh, her draw with uh, Cheng Rogang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah she's fresh off that fight. I think I I'll go up to her and I'll be like, "Why were you holding back?" What? What do you mean holding back? Didn't you see? I mean, I was whipping her ass. This is great. You could have won, but you didn't. <sighs> She's a skilled opponent, Soup. Even she I kept have to her blade that. in her scabbard, Radish. <laughs> Are you saying she's better than you? Okay, we need to talk. And then she will grab your arm and then she will drag you off to her. Why does she keep dragging me to places? I, I think I Because like, you, you let her do it. <laughs> yeah, of <laughs> course why. I do, but I'm like, why do you keep dragging me to places? <laughs> yeah. She's the more martial. She's the more martial uh, sibling, I, mean, I guess. I, don't know. I mean, we'll see. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she remembers the eight steps. Okay. <laughs> she, she. I'm sure she doesn't. Uh, we'll never find out. Um, yeah. Why'd she drag me to? Yeah. It's like. Why are you giving me a hard time? I, I've I, worked my way up to this. I've gotten better at my craft. You no, used to uh, tease no. me all the time about not not being good at this particular skill or looking bad at doing the sword. Why are you giving me such a hard time right now? I'm in the tournament, Soup. Okay, maybe I maybe I misread the situation. Uh, what what is this for? sister for status to say that I've had the honor of competing I don't have to die to win I don't have to die to compete I have the honor of competing in tournaments like this why is that okay. so hard to understand? No, it's... Do you have to die to investigate? You have a, you have, you have a reputation as a detective, I think, right? Or is that drinking these days? You have a reputation for drinking. Let's not, let's not talk about being a detective, okay? For both our six. 
I mean, Undaunted says that you've been doing a good job. I suppose. You've been talking to Undaunted? Undaunted's been talking to everybody. I don't know why oh, you have a problem. Oh my god. Just how can you tolerate them? Oh, oh my god. Like, are you, are you friends? Are you like best friends? Undaunted is friends with everyone. Okay. Really? Okay. And also you. Great. Great. Oh. Oh my gosh. Um yeah. Anyway, anyway. Why are you trying to bring me down? Why are I'm you... not. I Really? Because it sure sounds like it. What's Maybe... your goal, brother? <laughs> Maybe I learned some bad habits from our parents. Maybe I I should my goal is Is that why you just... ran away? No, what? I thought we weren't talking about this. Okay. Okay. What do you want to talk about? Nothing. I I I think I should roll for inner conflict. I think yes. that was uh, I I think that was, uh... <laughs> 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 and that's why you're siblings yay <laughs> yeah just uh yeah. classic classic i'm gonna i'm gonna roll with um I, i'm gonna roll with earth okay um for that sweet minus one um <laughs> yeah yeah, I got a seven, which is good. So, okay. so I, can, I can run away now. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I so when she when she says, "Is that why you? <laughs> uh, is that why you? Um, is that why you ran away?" I will be like, "I thought we were talking about this," and then run away. <laughs> like, I it's just, like, it's just. Like, I say that, and then I immediately like. Oh, and, and the camera kind of just pans to her face, and she just kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. And then she just kind of like, you know, just kind of like wipes down her sword and then just like sheaths it. <laughs> ah, next scene. <laughs> or study or <laughs> you know whatever you else you want you guys want to do. <laughs> um I can't say what like what happened maybe at the end of the Jintong scene okay. with Haoran to okay. justify why Jintong didn't immediately lash out um, like in fiction. Okay. Uh, out of fiction, we know why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but I think in fiction it's that Jintong was going to do that but is like seized by like maybe like a coughing fit or something. Yeah. Hmm. And then um, at this point maybe um Either one of them leaves the scene, and then uh, Jin Tong like will take her hand from her mouth, and then it's just like you know covered with blood, um, and then she'll like very um, unhygienically just like wipe it on a like a, a tree or something because uh, she doesn't want to wipe it on her clothes. Right, and, right, right. You know, it's not the kind of person. Well, she'll probably have a handkerchief, but she's just kind of like whatever. Um, no, I, like I, let me ask you something. Do you wipe it on a tree? Yes, I will do that. Because I think after you leave, I think that like we we see somebody's hand reach out and like kind of like kind of scrape it off. Cool, T scary. Um, I would like to roll study. Actually, I would like to investigate the crime at hand. Okay. And we're not talking about the crime against uh, my pride more. Than the crime. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Uh, uh, yeah. Like it, so you're going to be studying around the 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 competitors tent the parameters. Where... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. I I'm maybe it's not the competitors tent anymore because I'm like in the graveyard area now, so I'm oh, kind of like yes. walking through town and like, but I am still doing the same thing. Like I am observing and I'm. Okay. Listening. Sure. Quietly. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Go ahead. Right. And I would like to roll plus. I mean, it has to be water. It has to be water. Okay. Although I have zero in it, but it's awareness. So. Yeah. We'll see. I like it. 
Yeah. A ten? On okay. these dice? Okay. I, um... uh, be grateful. It's all good. All right. Awareness. Okay. Hmm. I get to hold and I would like to use it to get a clue. Okay. Mm, wait, but mm -hmm. what if I use, I bump it up to three hold um, yeah. by doing uh, the shadows flashback Ooh. and then get a clue and then immediately tie it to a facet and change that facet. <laughs> it's up to you do you want to i mean do you want to put your thumb on the scale and like you know change change something like really really hone in on something i think that would be fun i did that yeah. last time i really enjoyed it so Go for i might it. do it again all right okay. that's fine I, all right. Okay, okay i could give you a clue and then like you know you can tie it to whatever facet you want and then change the facet yeah yeah do you want to give me the clue now or do you want yeah. me to do the shadow flashback first oh, or yeah. do you want um, to do shadow do you have after? a shadow flashback the shadow flashback you want to do um you have that ready i mean because i'll give you time by giving you a clue <laughs> oh wait i suddenly just remembered what you were talking about before about how jin tong what jin tong was saying when she was delirious because yes we did establish that jin tong confessed uh right to jade starlight while she was delirious sorry i now understand what you meant like hours mm -hmm. ago um sorry That's um it's fine and I might do my shadow flashback to that. Uh, it's my passion uh, flashback. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Do you have that ready? Um, or I'll give you time with a, with with uh, looking at a clue. So. Okay. Why don't you Why don't you give me a clue first? Yeah. That's no problem. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just I just realized I also took a I did take a move. Heroes shed no tears. That has to do with inner conflict. Uh huh. Um, and whenever I roll a hit on inner conflict, I choose yeah. up to two witnesses, <laughs> and then I can get s stuff uh, associated with them. Oh, could be fun. But, yeah. Okay. Well, we can come. I can just do this later. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. Okay. So I think <clears throat> as you're making your way around and like you're on the periphery of the tents like you know things are starting to calm down people are starting to head off to the battle ring and like you know watching the 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 fights again or uh you know like going to the betting parlor or going to the practice grounds like whatever i'm mean, like you know doing like the things that they would do at this tournament and the festival atmosphere and everything you do s somehow catch um a couple of the competitors you may or may not know who they are just yet, but you know that they're competitors because of their, of the way that their uh, robes are styled and they're also holding their weapons, um, but they're making glances at each other. Um, and then there's a particular gesture in their communication. Like there's a specific s hand gesture that they're making as if they're communicating something secret. So the specific clue is a glance and a gesture of communication. And you can contextualize this however you want, but you know that they're communicating specifically with each other. It's a specific gesture. It's a specific communication as if they're nice. like, you know, communicating in secret. Cool. And we can, we can decide these people right now. We can give them like, Begin. Oh, I mean, it's it's up to it's up to Jin Tong as the yeah. person who's going to associate it with a facet and change said facet. So that is up yeah. to you. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, you've got the power. Okay. And then mm. just uh, to give it context, when do you observe that? Is that like while they are fighting, while they are going to prepare, or yeah? up to you what do you what do you want to say i mean i think i i would like you to decide this aspect of it i think that'll help me um tell me tell me which facet you're going to associate that with because that will help me decide whether it's a it's it's during a fight or if it's during like you know um 
you know, okay. I, I, I will. Around. I will say that one of the these people is Guo Bo Tong, and this will. Uh, I'm going to associate it with Guo Bo Tong and the Fallen Green Leaf Society. Yeah. Then I'm going to say that it's it's him, uh, getting ready to, uh, like he's leaving his tent, and he's getting ready to to go out for um. Uh, another not another match actually like maybe he's he's going to indulge in like the the festival atmosphere with uh you know he doesn't look like he's he's going out with any of the other uh competitors but he's communicating with several of them with this Mm. gesture and a glance okay um question to everyone do we want to start pulling in more npcs like more of the suspects or do we want to some of these to be the ones that we've already seen i'm fine with either um who who first came to mind for you Agatha? like who's the oh no i'm just looking at the list i'm just i'm just on the npcs tab being like oh there are a bunch of people that we haven't met yet Yeah. yeah and i i i could name easily like three that that come to mind because of what's like established so far so um, yeah we should okay. put in some new people okay i'm cool if you want to put in new people so i'm like you know i have no problems with you want to do old people or new and or new people so go for okay. it okay then what i will do is i will tie in um i think one of the people that global tongue signals mm-hmm. is chen ruogang and then the other is um, Skycast Red. Wow. Okay. What? Amazing. Okay. okay. It's going to be badass. <laughs> Amazing. Put that in as a note so I don't forget. Mm-hmm. Um. Um. And um, sky cast red. Okay. Um, and how are you? I think I think the gesture is actually um the one of them. Like, Global Tong makes the gesture first, mm-hmm. and then Chen Ruogang is not. Uh, it's like I don't know coming. She she is um, having some tea um at the moment. Yeah. And she actually like um it looks like she's like finishing her tea and she flicks the teacup. Yeah. Um, and then it like like lands on like a server's plate, like as they're like bringing stuff back, like with like it lands upside down mm-hmm. then with a clack. And then the way the water splatters um is what reminds um reminds Jing Tong um of the shadows flashback. And I think the the day that she um confessed <laughs> to um to who she thought was soup uh but was actually jade starlight it was a rainy day and it's like the droplets like remind like there's that like splash that rem- just like brings up her and like we get to get this like really hazy cam because she's she has a fever and then it's her and she thinks that the person beside the bed um and she hears the rain she thinks that the person beside the bed is is soup and she grabs um grabs their hand um and like and and puts it like (laughs) on her chest and she says, um, if I will die anyway, I would rather you take it. And like, and then Jintong like, just brings her, like, catches herself like back in the present. And there's like a moment where she's like, did that, did that actually happen? And then she just like, is like, no. Uh, and then I think then her gaze catches on um 
who was the other person, Skycast Red, um, also doing a similar like flicking gesture, uh, except he, he is kind of like sitting um, somewhere else, like maybe with another group. And uh, they're just casually kind of like lounging there and chatting with each other. And he has a leaf in his hand. Um, and then he just like flicks it in that exact same gesture. And then she's like making that connection uh, with the three of them. Nice. <clears throat> and um, so I think what I will tie, so I'm tying it with uh, Guo Bo Tong and the Fallen Green Leaf Society. Mm -hmm. I think what this is, is um, should I, should I even rewrite it? Hold on. Let me double check the, the move description again. Uh, rewrite the facet okay because i think what could be interesting is that this is um this flicking gesture mm -hmm. it is actually um a signature move um of the the style that was popularized by the leader of the or that was practiced by the leader of the green leaf society the leader of the green leaf society was very good at suddenly cannot translate to English, like the, like throwing weapons. Um, and they're like, like more like assassin type. Mm -hmm. And then there's like a way that they do it that is like really quick and like almost undetectable. Um, so I will rewrite the facet to the green leaf or like the martial arts style yeah. of the green leaf society. Yeah. Like the, <clears throat> uh, the undetectable, I'm like you know synonym for flick i mean you know or uh, toss uh, agatha how about this i have a i have a i was i have a pitch if you'd like to hear it yeah i love i love to hear pitches um what if you what if you change it to uh, uh go but on and the new green leaf society and it's just that it's like they're not gone like that's like that's the change, right? Like these guys are that's back. Cool. Or, yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's, Guess who's yeah, back, cool. back again? Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh okay. shit. Hey. Yeah, that's that's sick. Um I will also add in the note for the clues, like <laughs> great. Uh the whole <clears throat> this flick. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I like the it. fighting stuff. Yeah, if you want to change the gesture of communication to like, you know, the the being almost no, I, yeah i really like that it's like a reference to land wushan or something like that yeah, right like it's I like oh it. this one this is what he would do so now they do it and it's like oh this is how we recognize each other yeah like we all do the the wushan flick yeah <laughs> right, also... yes, that's that's a, their name i forgot their name <laughs> yes land wushan. Land wushan. yeah uh, and also too i mean like you know uh, guo but uh, butong has the um the uh broken chipped slashed whatever token of the green leaf society anyway right yeah yeah he's speaking that yeah so <laughs> maybe it's like kind of like a turned version of that sort of symbol too i don't know i mean like i'm just like yeah, yeah, just yeah, like yeah. spitballing <laughs> here um yeah that sort of thing that's mm. so interesting wow <clears throat> so that's a that's a definitive success for sure <clears throat> jade I starlight have... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, and I've named the fighting style, which is windswept autumn leaves. <gasps> Love that. Oh, damn. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Put that in the notes somewhere because I love that so much. That's I beautiful. put it all in the notes for the glance and gesture of communication. Thank you. On the mysteries tab. Okay, great. Um, you may want to. Oh, you uh, put it in. Click. The note. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and Jade Starlight, where do you end up um, after, or do we say that the conversation, the continued conversation and drinking with Undaunted happens off camera, or do you continue elsewhere? What do you think? What do you, what I do mean, you want? I mean, since everyone else is doing the investigation, I think. <laughs> Uh, it is up to you, I'd however like you want to, to I guess. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'd like to talk to Ondante Tsedong. Okay. And okay. I want to know... Mm -hmm. Well, basically, uh, and we can play this out. Or... 
keep it short, I don't mind. Um, learn about Soup's weaknesses or how to get under his skin, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because that that person knows, I suppose. Oh yes, Undaunted is like you know they are. <laughs> as soon as you mention Soup's name, <laughs> um, <clears throat> as soon as you mention Soup's name, they're 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 the they they give you this grin of like, oh, you want to know about Soup, huh? <laughs> I could tell you stories. Some of them may be true. Some of them may be made up. How do you know? I mean, I'm a historian, so I usually know. Oh. So I, let's let's stick and, to the facts. You and I could make some beautiful stories together. You know that, right? As he hands you another cup of tea, a uh, cup of wine. Uh huh. How how would you describe? them i have do, do they care they just... what what other people think about them oh no they're 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 uh, again uh, undetermined age and gender for the most part even though like there's uh -huh. you know depiction of them um drunken master they know things that i will say that like this is the carryover from the last mystery and also from from before the last mystery they mm -hmm. do know things about the death of lan wushan and the fall of the green leaf society so and they do prowl around to find out stuff, you know? So they're kind of like you. They're kind of a historian. Or they could just be really, really nosy. Mm. And a gossipy bitch, you know? So, I mean, like, it really depends. <laughs> so. <clears throat> what else? Enough. Yeah. So. Um, you could totally study, but from a, from a more presence and drunken point of view. Yeah, but... Um, I I suspect that they put on an act to a certain degree. Oh. And um. So mm, let's mm. see. I mean, like, if you well, study is the way to get clues for sure. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. Maybe I want to do hearts and minds. Okay. And my goal is here. Because I, I picture the last scene that uh, Masoop had the upper hand in the conversation the two of them had. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Undaunted Sedong interrupted. And I'd like Undaunted to piss off Soup in a way. <laughs> because <laughs> I, I suspect I, I can't do that. Like, first of all, it. it won't be great if I do it like personally and mm -hmm. there there'll be traces and maybe I, I'm not able to do it, you know. Well, I mean like, you know, soup's just gonna throw it back in, in uh Jade's face because it's like, Well, I got you a job and stuff, you know. So Yeah, yeah exactly. Right, right, right. <clears throat> so I'll have to find another way. Okay. So um <laughs> I just love this chat. Okay. Anyway, uh so uh hearts and minds, yep. So, what are you rolling with, and uh, what did you roll? <laughs> I, I'm going to say water because I'm aware of their relationship, and I'm I'm kind of trying to be flexible since I'm not doing it myself, and I'm, mm -hmm. you know that that might be the smartest decision here to 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 use that person. To be honest, I don't think you have to work very hard to get Undaunted Jadong to annoy Soup, <laughs> but that's just my thought. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I'm going to roll, and yeah. that's a miss. Uh, that's a five. Oh, no oh, news. <laughs> and I, oh. there, there's no way to improve because I've got only one bond, and shadows only work for uh, yes, study. study, right? Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> So it's a takeaway whenever um, Jay tries to to do something like spin an, um, a ball or intrigue or whatever. Um, they they're not good at it. <laughs> apparently. <sighs> and Don heads Don's like, why are you so obsessed with soup? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think this is like where where Undaunted turns it back on you, and it's like. 
<laughs> why are you i mean tell me why are you so interested in soup do you do you do you find them attractive i mean like does does howren know i mean like pan might be jealous i'd be careful about that if i were you I feel like I have to make a, a conflict move. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and uh, to to resolve that, should I also mark something or was yes. that? Yeah, definitely. Okay, I'm gonna walk. What a damn! Oh, I mean, soon I have to clear some elements, I suppose. Um, let's see. I'm gonna mark XP and people. People gonna have to. People gonna have to. Uh... Do a hell of a lot of comfort. I'll comfort and support you, yes. <laughs> savior of my life. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I'm very excited for that. <laughs> I, I I'd like to use metal to to roll because I'm trying to hold it together, control the situation. Sure. Maybe I order more wine because I suspect that might help with Undaunted. Yeah. Maybe it backfire, you know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Inner conflict, uh, please. That's an eight. Okay. Uh, either flee the scene or mark an element. To keep yourself steady, so if you want to flee, go for it. <laughs> I, I'm definitely going to stand up and say, um, I'm going to get some more wine for us. Oh, wonderful! And then somehow he com he 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 pulls out more cups of wine from some place. This is a bit, by the way, <laughs> like his oh, ability enough, to just enough. pull out wine from everywhere, um, and anywhere. Um, so so those are empty, right? Or are they filled with wine? Oh, wine, of course. <laughs> no, out of, out of character. Does does he pull up empty uh, cups? Oh no, they're 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 filled with wine. I mean, you know, here's here's some, but like more the merrier, of course. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's yeah, a bit. So, uh, I'm going to say, keep on drinking. I'll make sure they they still stay full. Uh, full, you know. I'll be here. You'll get a refill. I'll be here. Yeah, and no, I just don't come back. <laughs> I make sure I, I send a uh, you know I send a waiter with a bottle of wine for him, but I won't return. Exactly. Okay. Great. <laughs> oh man. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I just have to laugh. This has been great. Big ah. circle. Okay. Let's go ahead and just do that. Well, because we're just going to close out of that and then go do some end of session. Keep okay. Um. Is it okay if yeah. I retroactively trigger Heroes Shed No Tears specifically for soup? I won't do it uh, to uh, Haran because uh, because uh, John isn't here to agree or disagree. Um, okay. And it would just be, uh, I would like to <laughs> give soup a minus one forward on inner conflict. What? <laughs> what is this move? Tell me. Tell okay, me. Heroes Shed No Tears. When you roll yeah. a hit on inner conflict, choose up to two witnesses. Okay. For each, you may choose the following. Uh, I can gain plus one forward against them or give them minus one forward on inner conflict. And this is for PCs. Or change their mood. This is for NPCs. Or I can spend a bond to have them visit me privately this session. Uh, I have no bonds, so <laughs> forget that. But... How do you feel about that, Thomas? Are you okay I love with it? it? But but did you roll a hit on? Oh wait, you're right. Hold on, hold did on, I... hold on, hold on, hold did on. Did I fail wait, wait. all my rolls? Actually? Give me a second. Hold on. Yeah, you you're never right. rolled inner conflict Six, wait, wait. in that scene. Hold on. I Six. did roll inner conflict. No, like you rolled have... the the shadows move. And Six that on was the whole rain. Six on rain of it. Yeah, I can't speak. Six on rain of assassins. Yeah. And then I rolled a four on inner conflict. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You're right. Yeah, I, I did not succeed. I yeah. uh, forget everything that I just said. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Nothing That's was cool. Fun. That's cool that you want. Now that you know that you have the move, you can hold that in reserve. For, I have the for power. <laughs> you have the power. Yeah. Yeah. You'll just know yeah. you'll you're just gonna you're just gonna weaponize that thing like like cray cray uh, like for next time for sure. <laughs> Oh that's man, so cool. that's gonna be deadly. I was gonna offer it because I feel like Thomas would. Yeah, yeah. Would I, I would have, I would have taken it, but I was just like, you didn't actually forget. Like that was the yeah, thing I was right. being like, yeah, there was. Yeah, no... you're right. No, no, no. It's good. I, I just think that's so cute though. <laughs> it's like let me give you something to, to make you messed up. It's all good. All right. No, I, I. I love it. Okay, so let's go to. 
Uh, where is it? Antecession. So obviously, like, you know, if you've rolled inner conflict and you failed, <laughs> please take the X, like, please make sure that you've taken the XP. Um, <clears throat> and then, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah. I think, I think as, we would... as long as you roll on a conflict, you get XP, right? Yeah. yeah. I think the only thing yes. to figure out is did we interact with our entanglements? I yes. think that's the stuff we need. Yeah. To... Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um... So if you've significantly interacted with your entanglements <clears throat> at the end of session, uh, yeah. Just... Yeah. I, I did both. So I'm going to. I uh, Every scene with uh, Soup and Haran was 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 that and Jintong, soup soup Jintong. we did that whole thing and then yeah. i had my little uh fight with jade so i got yeah yeah you did I, you yeah. did so sorry if i didn't mute myself while i was talking to my husband about our cat oh no I, I didn't hear <laughs> i think we were muted you were muted oh i was fine. oh okay so, great yeah. <laughs> there was a heist going on in our house <laughs> oh no <laughs> Didn't know about it, so that's good. <laughs> I've been like, Agatha, yeah. what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, fill us okay. in. <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. Great. Oh my god. I love heists. Okay. Um I, yeah, so so please go for your your uh your Yeah, I interacted and... a lot with the soup entanglement. Mm -hmm. Uh I did not interact with my river glass or Mu Young entanglement. Hmm. Okay. hmm. Well mm -hmm. I need to rewrite it. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. You should you should, yeah, if you if you feel that it's no longer applicable or what have you then you you should have the opportunity to, to change it yes. i think it's also because uh, rod wasn't here right yeah so. mm. yeah. yeah and then yeah. river glass is here but i mean like yeah, sorry to give you a chance to interact with him um it's like there were so many other things to so many other people to interact with jeez okay yeah and, and jade starlight did you feel like you interacted with yours <laughs> Yeah, so the romantic one definitely. I I haven't found a new love interest yet, but um. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure we'll have like many more NPCs you can fan. You can. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely at odds with uh, soup. Stan. So that. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody has reached your your eight XP, then go ahead and take an advancement as needed for sure. And please. Please, for goodness sake, comfort and support like cray cray, like in the beginning of next session. Oh my God, please. Oh, is anybody missing next session? Do I did I miss anything for for next session? Uh, next week, uh, I will not be here. Okay. Yeah, so. I might I might also miss next session actually. I'm not sure yet, but I might. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like if 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 you if you find out, then just of course let us know. And I'll the message in the chat. Discord. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. All right, given that, then let's go ahead and talk about Stars and Wishes. Holy crap, so many good <laughs> good scenes in this session. Holy. Da! Uh, yeah, uh, I, I have think, my... Uh, sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I really enjoyed today's session. I like Stars definitely for, for Soup, um, especially when you said, I, don't, I thought we're not talking about this, and then you ran away. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, this Agatha, when you well, first of all, uh, um, I really like that uh, wiping off all the blood and uh, not soiling your your uh, ropes, but but uh, putting it on the tree and Matt's, Matt's asking, you want to put it on the tree? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna yeah, use yeah. that against you. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely a wish that a, yeah uh, blood will be used at some point um yeah and and the um rewriting of that facet that there's actually a new green leaf society that that was amazing i liked that a lot and yeah it definitely starts also for portraying the different uh, npcs so um Guo Potong was was pretty creepy. I liked the, his vibe, and Undaunted Sedong was quite entertaining as well. Yeah, uh, uh, another wish would be that I I think there's definitely potential for uh, Jade and Soup to butt heads. Uh, maybe maybe even fight uh, during the tournament or uh, doing something else. 
Um, nice, nice. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think that could be fun. Yeah. Yeah. We've got we've got this arena, you know. It's it's yeah. waiting yeah. for us to use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even like, if it's oh, accidentally true. getting into yeah. the arena. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's that's so disrespectful to the organizers, oh, uh, I, which is I great. That, yeah, I was really worried about the organizers. <laughs> I am. Hey, they matter. They're here too. Um, my star, uh, I had a preemptive star that I wrote in the chat so I wouldn't forget. And it was to the line, um, Michael, that you just like kind of threw out. Um, I was already, what was it? I was already disdainful and... Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Oh, I did not flag it. Well, I'm already obsessed and disdainful, so I will <laughs> I'll choose another element to mark. <laughs> it, was, it was so funny. Yeah, I was like, that was good. Oh, what a queen. <laughs> like, so good. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm just really here for a Jade Starlight's girl boss energy. Um, like, I feel like they were really bringing it. And um, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Um, I also like going to Donna Zeno specifically to be like, don't you want to, don't you want to go and bother Soup? Because I want Soup to be annoyed, but I'm not going to do it myself. Like, that was great. Um, I, I also love, uh, I love Radish. Radish is so cute. Um, and I'm also here for this, like, the same kind of energy that we had from season one, the carrying through to season two, where there is a central girly pop NPC that we all revolve around. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Uh, I, yeah, I want to see her succeed <laughs> in the tournament or otherwise. Um big star to uh to john uh who is not here uh for haoran i feel like i really like haoran's energy as well less cop this time which is interesting um i guess you know when you're trying to murder someone oh oh. (laughs) was i about to make a political statement i'm not going to um i uh yeah it was it was really cool i liked all the negotiations um i thought it was really interesting to like try to get uh Howran's personality because Howran so much of them is like putting on a front and so like getting digging through to the layers I think uh will be very fun um and it was already fun today um and then yeah I mean star to you always Thomas for soup uh soup is just so fun you always bring this like vivacious energy uh in with soup like they're just like such a perfect balance of like being uh smart and stupid <laughs> in a way that is very disarming and like always great to interact with um as other pcs and also npcs the sibling scene was perfection love a sibling scene and that was no exception um and uh yeah i also love that i got to cough out some blood again today um yeah you gotta you gotta uh, and that was very enjoyable for me personally um in terms of wishes i would like to see more of like what i want to see how and struggle like what they want versus what they feel like they should do now that there's there are more stakes um that we've established uh, i think that'll be very interesting um i also uh i'm excited for uh gene tone to comfort and support jade starlight um it won't happen next session because i'm not here but mm-hmm. i'm committed to doing it um <laughs> and i think it'll be very funny i th- I'm also like thinking about like how long this bit should go for um two bits one of them being that Jintong thinks that she should kill Radish. I think that should have some kind of conflict before it's resolved mm-hmm. um, or explained. But also, like, this, like, the bit that is uh, the misunderstanding between J Starlet and Jintong. Like, mm-hmm. I, I want to play into it more uh, before it gets resolved, but I'm also, like, curious as to how it'll um, progress. And, yeah, Michael, you have any ideas? 
always happy to workshop. So mm -hmm. I think those are the two things that are interesting to me right now. <clears throat> yeah. Um, my, my stars is, uh, uh, I, I feel like Jintong is the most like, like, like well-realized, like, character like in this thing Agatha really kind of seems to know them and like you know uh the the the, the theming and the concepts like so strong and you really kind of like do that super well so I'm always always happy to see Jin Tong uh on on screen um uh, I really love that uh opening scene I mean I <laughs> not that opening scene. I really I really liked how as a table we managed to handle that situation of uh that miss and john not being able to like re you know we wanted john to do something he wasn't able to do it but then we kind of like figured it out and we had like a great like scene i i was really happy with how it, it resolved it was super fun um and uh yeah yeah so i yeah definitely that was a that was a that was a nice moment <laughs> i i also yeah for michael i really like <laughs> that scene with Jade and 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 Soup was like that miss is going to play out through this whole campaign, right? Like it's like that that, one, that when when that, this is not going to end, <laughs> you know, because one time you rolled a four, <laughs> like just going to be fighting for like four sessions or whatever. I think it's I think it's great. I'm very I'm very excited for it. I would love for us to like you know es escalate this until some like you said like we actually fight and then we you know we, we resolve it right like we um uh, <laughs> we work through our feelings the right way <laughs> which is through violence and then we make a, we make a breakthrough <laughs> uh but yeah that was uh, i'm i'm very i'm very excited for that um mads yeah i'm so happy with radish i i am very like i i wanted to call for a scene with her because i know that like there's a ch you know there is now a sister in the game but if i don't actively like do scenes with her like uh <laughs> we won't have a relationship right? okay. and i think we should be keep we should keep doing this uh thing like at least every session i think should be like a little moment between super and radish uh otherwise you know because i what i want to do as a as a player is to solve the mystery also right so i would mm -hmm. not i would have done it with like cheng rugang or whatever like you know instead but I, yeah so that's definitely thing. Uh, I have I have a wish also, which is that uh, Micah said a really cool thing about uh, uh, Go Bhutan, which is that like they uh, might be supernatural in a weird, like you know, Mads put it out first. That was very cool, and then Michael built on it, and I was like, okay, we haven't had like a really like like a very supernatural like element here, and this is happening, and. I, I'm interested in, in playing with that. I don't know whether that's going to hold up, right? Like when we theorize, like, will we reveal that, uh, you know, who Go Budong is really is behind the mask and like, there's going to be some twist there. I'm, I'm excited to play towards that. But yeah, I, I, that, I, I would love that reveal to be a thing, right? There is an identity for us to discover. Maybe it's somebody we already know, somebody we've already spoken to who's already there, or it is like, you know, like a... Uh, or like a new person but a new person like needs something so yeah uh, i'm excited i'm excited for that at one point before michael said uh <laughs> they, they're like maybe they need the mask to be and introduce that supernatural element i was like oh i'm gonna play for this to be my sister's but you know, like like this is radish is like <laughs> this is this is radish under the mask like this you know but i Oh I will chase it. Yeah, I was like, this is like she's she's playing some kind of 4D chess. We'll figure it out, like you know. But now I think, yeah, it might be uh, if it's not her, like who is it? Um, I'm yeah, interested I'm, to see. I'm down for it to be some kind of low fantasy. I do not want like supernatural creatures is the thing. Yeah, I feel okay. like that's not something that I'm interested in. But like low fantasy, like the whole like chi corruption and what yeah. that can do to you, and like it. I am cool with that. And then, like, also, yeah, like, twisted nature of people when mm -hmm. they go too far, like, with yes. training certain forbidden techniques, like, that kind of thing, I'm, like, I'm totally down for. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't want it to like, oh, secretly I'm a fox spirit. Like that mm. I'm less interested in. Absolutely. Oh no, that that's fine. And then like I'm I'm glad to know that because it's like, you know we should probably like put that in, in the safety as a as a like, you know, we don't want to include it in the game just as a like we don't want to go that fantastic, but I mean like, you know, like kind of like yeah. chi corruption slash like um uh, you know, elemental twisting. I mean like that's okay because it's it's still it's still it's still human but then like with uh that yeah. kind of like a kind of a culting element to yeah. it so there, there yeah, should be fine. nothing that nothing in the show that requires cgi because the show has no cgi budget <laughs> so it's like only only things that are uh realistic practical <laughs> effects basically anything that can yeah. that can be it's, done it's with some and... <laughs> smoke smoke and uh smoke and makeup yeah that's yeah. fine yeah yeah, for sure. Okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, like, again, so many stars. I mean, like, I just loved all of the scenes. I am such a fan of characters. And, like, you know, your characters, um, you know, on different levels are playing, um, whether they realize it or not, 4D chess. Because, like I said, that, that whole triangulated scene with... Uh, Jin Tong and Soup and and Haoren. I mean, like just looking at each other, looking at each other, and then just being like oblique with the communication. Like you know, it was surface level, but then there was also another layer underneath, and there was just that that little teeny weeny layer underneath, and it was like, come on, people! And then the failed roll just made it worse, and it was just like, I need ten minutes to figure out how I can make it worse, and I'm like know how this could and i'll just brought in the sister because what the hell right i mean like it was going to affect at least two entanglements so that was good um <clears throat> and then jade starlight i mean like i'm so sorry you didn't get a chance to 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 meet your meet your uh meet your uh your 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 uh hero worship and everything like that but i mean like i just think it was even funnier because then you had to take soup to task in a separate um encounter and then like you know use uh try to use hearts and minds to try to like hey look you you owe me man um and i and i love that i just i just think it's like you know it just brings out some different interactions and again i feel like jade starlight has that kind of stan energy and so therefore like you know you're gonna fall in love with somebody else and it's gonna be great so we'll figure out how how that works and you can have a completely new entanglement and and make it even more complicated sure um and then um you know jintong i mean like the carryover of the poison and the emotion from last time complicated with like this denial that you're having over soup is just it's tearing me apart i don't know about you but it's tearing me apart okay so i'm just like when you were saying like no that's not it at all it's like i'm insulted when you were saying you were insulted by howard i was i was appalled i was like no why is she why is she insulted he's not lying <laughs> you know but you are <laughs> i was just like i was invested i was so invested so I, I enjoyed this so much um yeah wishes like you know all the all the wishes i i i appreciate them so much hopefully we can hopefully we can get to all of them because you know i what i i can appreciate about the numberless secrets is like the the intense in cast of characters it's not a complaint for me because i love doing the variety of, of of the cast but it's just funny to try and embody all these people that are involved and entangled in your life in your lives and then you're also involved in each other and you also have your own bullshit and how you're twisting the bullshit and then like just again it's great believe me it's great it's just confusing as hell and then we're all trying to keep the story straight because the stories keep changing and i love it but it's also making me a little bit confused um so uh my wish is to hopefully see uh a little bit more mystery you were trying in the beginning it was it was great like oh they're getting clues yay and then just getting involved in a whole bunch of personal stuff and it was that was also cool too um but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm curious to see what the theories the theorize is going to look like. Uh, if you bring in somebody completely new, that's going to be cool. If you bring in somebody, um, you know, old, that's going to be interesting for sure. It's like, oh wait, you know, a known entity, and it's like that's the explanation, huh? Interesting. Um, 
so yeah when you get more clues and then like try to come up with a theory it's going to be it's going to be fun to to figure out how you're planning on resolving or revealing or yeah seeing what uh what the solution is to the to the mystery and then um yeah i I'm sorry if I'm all jumbled, but I mean, like, I just had a, a, an appreciation for all the things that were going, were happening across this whole session that I'm just starring the whole thing and wishes across the board for each little thing that was happening and uh, that will be happening in the future. So anyway, um, I wish you guys a wonderful week. Happy gaming for uh, games that you're doing um, in the interim. And um, for those of you that will not be here or <clears throat> may not be here for next time. It's like, you know, again, um, you know, we'll see you for the next session after that. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll definitely, I'll definitely post whatever happens in, in the next session for sure. All right. So you thank guys you for a... running. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you, you guys. Appreciate see it. Ya, see ya. Appreciate Bye. you all. Bye.